When two cultures collide, which yeah. one will stand yeah. to liberate yeah. the black community? Samuel. First of all, I need to acknowledge why this debate is necessary. Whose words will survive when we purge the lies? That curse the divine, cast the pearls to swine. Reverse the design, even merge divide. Side net a TV when two worlds collide. Might hurt to decide just who verbs will vibe. When we curve all the job, whether girls or guys. No herbs left alive in this earthly skies. Side at a TV when two worlds collide. Clash of the titans. Facts will enlighten. Some spitting mad, but they ain't half as exciting. Uh, this platform, we battle for the souls of man. Those kidnapped and trapped upon stolen land. Doesn't matter where you at on this earth. Africa's the true origin of your birth. Teaching you true health and wealth. Knowledge of self-worth instead of killing your health. Going to jail over turf. We all truth seekers asking questions. Should we seek them in the shrine lodge or the lessons? Is the answer ancestral science or religion? Is it freedom or will he let you a little difference? Is it Indian, Aboriginal, Indigenous people? Should we worship money? Is it still a root or evil? We all born with mental shackles if we black. And the only thing that's going to free us is the actual facts. Whose words will survive when we purge the lies? That curse the divine. Cast the pearls to swine Reverse the design Even merge divide Side net a TV When two worlds collide Might hurt to decide Just who verbs will vibe When we curve all the job Whether girls or guys No herbs left alive In this earthly skies Side at a TV When two worlds collide Is it the gods and earths Or the moors Should we match the UCC And commercial law Is it being Muslim Christians or the Jews Should we push the old school And need something new Is it atheism Egyptologists Hebrew Israelites Flat earthers Herbalists To get our people right I'm in Rod Squad RBG Your new covenant Should we work for it? Should we overthrow the government Should we all go for self Being savages and vultures pan-african or is hip-hop our culture is it nationality or correct status should we integrate me to a black lives matter should we hit the streets with the panthers unify the gangs is all out war the right answer are we asiatic or arabian should we just free dr york and be new i be in a savior whose words will survive when we purge the lies that curse the divine cast the pearls the swine reverse the design even merge divide side that a tv when two worlds collide My Whose words will survive when we purge the lies? Peace and Black Power family. Welcome to another Sonetta TV House of Consciousness production. You already know what it is. This is going to be a real powerful build between two strong brothers in the building. Uh, these brothers right here, they have respect for one another. They have respect for the people. They don't use foul language. They don't curse each other out. They do not use, I mean, you know, these brothers right here, I'm telling you, you're going to learn something. So make sure you have your ears up and ready. I meant to ask Virgil before because I've seen it in the background. Brother, are you a DJ, brother? Yeah, you know I play that music, so You know, I play I play the music, man. Oh, man, play, that's what it is, I brother. I didn't the, know I, that. I play a little, I play a little <laughs> bit. You know, I've been doing this a long time, playing a little bit. Oh, you know? man. Okay. And greetings All to right. my brother. Greetings to my brother, Tahuti. How you feeling, beloved? We here. How you feeling, <laughs> Tahuti? I'm feeling wonderful. Great. How is everyone? I'm feeling. Hey, you know, we got a we got a brother by the name of Sekou in the building. Sekou is well familiar, trust me, with Islam. So well, um <laughs> so this is gonna be great. Um, first of all, we got our brother um Virgil in the building. How long have you been a Muslim, my brother? Well, I've been a Muslim. Since uh, 1989, uh, I took my Shahada in uh, Elmira Correctional Facility back in 89. I was 18 years old. I had 25 What are some years. of the schools of thought you went through in order to um, get where you are today? Well, you know, I came through, came through the Sunni school. I came through the Ansaro Law School. I've delved into the Sufi school, the Shiite school. I've basically like studied my way out of certain schools of thoughts, but these are the schools of thoughts that I mainly embraced. I mainly, first of all, I, I mainly embraced the Ansar Law School. Then after that, the Sunni school. Then after that, the Shiite school. Then I started delving into the Sufi, the spirituality of Islam a little bit. Then I went into the Salafi school. You know, 
you know, and basically at this stage, I'm just saying. Hey, I want you to keep it going for one minute. I got to run and turn that yes, on. No problem. No problem. Keep it going. And basically, and basically at this stage and whatnot, I'm eclectic. It's like, you know, I've always been comfortable with studying everything, man. You know what I'm saying? I've always been comfortable with like, like recognizing that what I do know is just a drop in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's 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 my whole that's my whole that's the story of my life, my beloved brother Tahuti. As far as when it comes down to studying, when it comes down to like spiritual knowledge, Islam just played a great part of my life because of all the experiences that I went through while being a part of it. All right, hold on. Hey, family, yeah. I just want y'all to get a little feel of what we're dealing with. And um, we're going to get Tahuti in a minute. And then we're going to let these brothers have a nice, powerful um, talk, discussion. So, brother, you said you came through the Ansar Allah community. What was it that made you leave? Did you leave on your own or did you leave because of the circumstances surrounding Dr. York as far as all the child molestation? No, this is, like the, this is before the child molestation stuff. Um I was a part of the Ansaru Law School of Thought. I was in like, I think at that point I was in, I think I was in, in, in I still was in Elmira, but it was like 91, 92 and whatnot. And um, still, you know, he still had a strong influence and whatnot. He still had a, a strong following. However, it was certain things that he was started to say, like he was this, he was that, he was this, he was that. And I, you know, my studies led me to study and to believe and to realize that it's a contra it was a few contradictions pertaining to certain of the things that he was claiming that he was. You know, and um I started like questioning certain beliefs, tenets that the the answer the law school was presenting to me at that point. And I like, I realized that you know, I made a decision that, that, you know, this is not true. You know, this is not certain principles, certain principles is not true. However, without a doubt, don't get quick. Don't, don't get it twisted. I respect the brother, Dr. York. I respect the brother because of the simple fact from following his way of thinking to a certain degree, his, his, his spiritual circle, it led me to be open. It led me to be eclectic. It led me to not rely on the words of men in totality like Tom, that. Tom, that's good. Because yeah. I don't want to take away from my brother Tahuti and because yeah. I don't know what questions he got. So brother Tahuti, moving over to you before I open up the panel for y'all two to have y'all discuss. Um, taking over from where the brother left off at, you yourself also used to be a part of the Ansaru Allah community with Dr. York in Atlanta. So you've seen a lot of this stuff going on. Talk about that. Give us a little bit about that, brother. A, a little bit about what I what I seen going on. What you experienced. Um, you was a part of the movement, wasn't you? Yeah. Yeah. All yes, right. Absolutely. So yeah. Absolutely. I had a beautiful experience. I was um. I was a proofreader of books. I was a, uh, I was a teacher at a time um, in that organization. Um, I, I controlled DJ music. I taught martial arts and protective uh, fighting techniques up there. So I had a, I had a great time. Um, what I experienced, the best thing I experienced out of it was the, uh, the ability to see different religious groups being dissected um, and also seeing things like um, self-productive means of survival so the clothes up there that were made that were made by by the women the water we drank a lot of it was out of a well um, it was it was a it was a great experience for me um, why do you I, think oh go ahead go ahead brother go ahead finish um i eventually had to leave due to um due to uh brothers bringing torches to my uh to my living quarters telling me to burn any books that weren't written by dr york and so Dr. York told me it wasn't safe for me. So I eventually had to leave out of there because um, I was being threatened because I was teaching information from a, a book called The Matrix and some other books that weren't written by him because the teacher, he said that I had uh, superseded his um, his teachings. All right. So um, 
Talk to us, brother, about why do you think so many people don't give credit to Dr. York like you two brothers are today? And a lot of people learned off of Dr. York and his scholarship and his information. <laughs> why do you think people turn their back on him and don't give the credit back to where it all come from? I think, a pe uh, well, well the people, people associate complimenting somebody with accepting the whole package. So I could compliment a man that's done a lot of crimes, but he was a good um, he was a good artist. He was a good artist. He drew very well, but he happened to be um, a criminal and did and did some wicked things. So now some people feel that they cannot call that man a good artist anymore. Me, mm -hmm. um, it's irrelevant to me. I just look at the facts. I deal with what is true, and what I seen with um, Dr. York that it was good. I speak on that. If somebody asked me something else that I saw that wasn't too good, I speak on that. It's of no association with me, so I can speak freely. People are caught up with um, being associated with personalities as opposed to just the straight information itself. I like that. I like what you said as far as, you know, people don't see him as, as great no more because of some of the circumstances that surround his life. Let me ask you a question. Oh, oh, and also most Let me people... ask you a question. Hold on. Don't get... oh, no, no. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see R. Kelly as one of the greatest R&B rappers of all time? One of them, even um, today, because of the circumstances surrounding his life. Do you still see him? And I'll tell you, I do. I see R. Kelly as one of the greatest R&B writers of all time. What about you, brother? So, um, Particularly me, I'm not into R&B at all, but the impact that I've seen our Bit Kelly have um, compared to the other artists that came out at the time, he's definitely one of the most explosive, sought after, talented, influential R&B singers. And that's a good example of- I said singing. writers, but singers too, because like you said, writers. people tend to wanna take all that yeah. away from him because of what happened. You still yeah, but... can't take away his, um, you know, his gift that he had to write music. To, um, you know, that's all I wanted to say. So what yeah, I want to do, yeah. mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. step back and let y'all two brothers introduce yourselves before yeah. the people, and then y'all yeah. can begin y'all conversation. Yes, um, I would definitely like to, after introduction, I would like to um, answer that question too about pertaining to Dr. York too. I want to, yeah. I want to, because you had, asked, before the introduction, I'll answer that too. Let me just go into that. I believe that, um, the life as we live it, it is presented to us on a platter. And this platter consists of many different foods that we may like and dislike. However, it is nutrients to us. Dr. York, he had his position. He played his part. He did good. It's just like Clarence 13X. When I was eight years old, I knew 120 lessons. You dig what I'm saying? I believe in the teachings of him, the nation of gods and earths. And that propelled me to think openly. It's the same thing in Islam, same thing with his, uh, Dr. York, same thing with the, the example of the brother R. Kelly. It appears from my study and my understanding and my, my, my walks is that it seems like greatness, it always have some type of inconsistency to it at the bottom of it. It's like you can have an R. Kelly, but at the same time, you can have a freak. You can have a, a Cleflo Dollar, a brilliant speaker, but at the same time, the character underneath it that no one sees can be repulsive. So it's like how do you fend under situations like that? Me, myself, personally, I say that you fend by taking the good and leaving the bad. R. Kelly was a hell of an artist. So yes. I take the good and I leave the bad. And I think that's the most balanced way to uh, approach all matters in life. Because like I said, we live in a time where everything I believe has been tainted to a certain degree. So it's up to us to do the dishes. It's up to us to to do the dishes, having the will and the and the and the wherewithal to do so. That's the problem. 
Go ahead, my brother Tahu. It is on you, brother. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, that's absolutely that's absolutely true. Uh, most people that people like um on television have no idea what happens in their personal life, but they'll watch the Avengers. They'll watch Brad Pitt, they'll watch, they'll shop at Walmart, they'll do it all of these things, and they're not concerned with um with Brad Pitt's religion or Steven Seagal or anything like that. So take people for what for what they are and appreciate the good and disassociate yourself with the uh with the negative i personally while i was up there with him my children were around him and there was absolutely no problem so i can only go by what i've seen and um my children were around him on a daily basis and uh, there didn't seem to be any problem at the time um so such such is life such is life if if he did what he did then he deserves all punishment if he didn't then everybody who said he did um owes him much greater than apology just stay balanced and never never let your emotions sway factual decisions on a on an individual until you investigated everything but i don't defend um i don't defend the situation of all i'm well parted from that um situation from um him learned great from him at the time about religions and uh, when it became unsafe for me to be around that organization i departed for the safety of my family so let me ask you my beloved brother in your coming up as a as a youth what was your position as far as thinking spiritually whatever like how did you think coming up as a youth once you became when you when as you think back and you think about your conscious level when you became conscious of your conditions what was your original thinking the grassroots thinking from you um origins i was yes uh, origins i uh, for a large part of my childhood life i stayed away from from people i wasn't around people i was more around animals i stayed around animals for for more than half the day um and i would stay away from from people so when i got around people um i noticed that i saw a lot of hypocrisy in religion and different strange things that uh, were not matching what they were saying whereas when i went around the animals they always did what they're supposed to do so every time i went around the ants and i went around the frogs and the fish and the snakes they would always do exactly what they were supposed to do and you couldn't tempt them to do um, other things. They seem to keep the ecosystem running fine and doing what they're supposed to do. When I got right around the people, I couldn't trust them. Um, they were saying they were superior to the animals because God created them. God, Yahweh, Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jesus, uh, whichever name, created the people as superior. And I always questioned that as a, as a child. I said, I believe the animals are superior because they are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing and people are actually destroying themselves in the earth so as a youth when i was growing up that is a part of what made me become what i am now i started questioning people um, based on what i learned from the from the animals i would go out and learn from the animals and come back and look at people and be very sad around what i was um, what i was seeing uh, with people and i saw people in multiple different religions and i saw the animals didn't need a religion they didn't need anything and i was wondering if they if people said that allah and god created animals and then he created man in his image and the animals are not in his image but god and allah does everything he's supposed to do the animals do everything they're supposed to do but the creature that was created in god's image doesn't do what he's supposed to do so the animals must be superior and they must be the real ones in the image of this uh god so I started on. Um, <laughs> God damn! I had to drop a bomb on that right there, baby. That's that's deep there. I love it. Go ahead, continue. Yeah. So um, so um, my mother was a Seventh Day Adventist, and um, I started studying Islam, Hebrewism, and different things of the such. And then um, eventually she found out, and um, it led to my first debate, my very first debate was i had to debate to, to live in my house so the only way i could stay living in my house is if i debated my mother's pastor 
and I won, and and if I win the debate, I could live with my mother. And I made her the judge of the debate. So I had wow. a feeling. I had a feeling that I was about to move out. So I debated her pastor. I was maybe 19 or 18 or something like that. He was 47. We debated for four hours until she kicked him out. <laughs> And after she after she kicked him, that was my very first debate. After she kicked him out, I um the next day was a notarized a notarized letter on the door from the courthouse that I have a uh, restraining order um, from any Seventh Day Adventist church. I have a restraining order from uh, Seventh Day Adventist churches. Wow, that's 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 definitely that's definitely a definitely an interesting up origin. You know, me, myself, check this out. Me, myself, mine's is a little different. I come from a family of, of 11 brothers and sisters coming up in Brooklyn. Born in 1970. But you um, know what, Virgil? Yes, I would sir. like I would like for Tahuti yes. to ask you a question now. And then yes. you could probably get yes. into it. The only reason why I'm going into this now is because what I asked, I asked him of his origin. That's why yeah. I want to give him to be balanced, give him my okay. origin. Go ahead, you know what I'm and it'll be real quick. Go ahead. Coming, Go up, ahead. coming up, you know, born in 1970, coming up, you know, through the 70s or whatever, growing up, growing up in Brooklyn and whatnot. I never was really a religious type of individual being church-wise, anything like that, but I was five percent My projects that I grew up in, the individuals that were there, some of my brothers and that some of my physical bro blood brothers are five percenters. However, the community at that time was was immersed with five percenters. So I had got introduced to that. I started studying this, started studying the five percent nation, studying, you know, supreme mathematics, supreme alphabets, 12 Jews of Islam, student of Rome, 120. As a young brother, eight years old, seven years old, eight years old. Then I started vibing in that. And I and I stayed into that all the way through me being incarcerated at the age of 18. So that was my primary way of thinking, the five percenter way of thinking, the na nation of gods and earth. That was my primary way of thinking, the teachings of uh, Clarence 13X. That was my primary root of, if you want to call it spirituality. You dig what I'm saying? That right there. Um, then after that, after incarceration, as time went on, I became a Muslim. I started studying Islam, so forth and so on. And, you know, that's how that went. But go ahead, Sa, you got it. If, uh, uh, and Did somebody cut out? Yeah, question if you if you like. You could you cut out there, brother, for about thirty seconds. I said, "All right." So what? So what I said was that. Um, did you catch the part when I went to prison? Yes, you went to that part right there, brother. You're five percenter, and I caught all that. Yes, and then after that, I said, "With that, I'll land, oh, and I'll okay. allow you to ask me to. I'll, ask, I'll allow you to ask me whatever you would like to ask me." You know. Okay, wonderful. Um, so let's start off like this. I th I think uh, Sonetta, you're muted, or maybe he's just talking to somebody. Oh, let me turn the light on. Okay, so let's start off like this. In my in my um journeys and my awakenings, um, I was always about origins, and in studying origins. I, I realize the three Abrahamic faiths don't have origins in our ancient culture. Um, so, for example, I asked a brother, uh, I asked a brother, um, what's his name? I talked to him yesterday, Babyface, some guy, uh, Babyface Bashir. But I spoke to him and um, asked him a question. And um, the question was, and I asked this to all religious people, Muslims and everybody, the difference between us and animals, according to religious concepts, is that God, when he created us, he immediately communicated with us. That's in the Quran and in the Bible. God and Adam are talking. God and Eve are talking. Um, he gave us the ability to speak, make languages, and create civilization. And he gave us 
religions and spirituality. That's what he gave us separate from the animals. That's what religious people tell me. Um, so thus, whatever the oldest language on the planet is, and whatever the oldest um, finds on the planet of a, of a culture in is, that would have to be the one that was given by God, correct? Because he was the one that taught us language. Um, so if I find a culture that predates Abrahamic faiths, then wouldn't that be the religion of Allah or God? That's what I asked the brother mm -hmm. on the phone yesterday. We got very um, upset. Yes. Um, that's very that's very interesting. However, it's founded in truth. If it's their original, if if you go back to a if you have a beginning point in history, in creation, and God is doing the talking, you have to acknowledge that. You dig what I'm saying? You have to acknowledge that. You can't write that off as something that's just nothing. That's if you believe that. You dig what I'm saying? As far as a religion of God, whatever he dictated to man at the beginning of creation, that is what you will return, what you can loosely term as religion, as being rules and regulations, you know, way of thinking, so forth and so on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand how that was a problem. And you're cut off again. Can you all hear me? Yeah, yeah. Come on, Virgil. You got to get a better system, brother. <laughs> Yo, you got to get an Ethernet. Get yourself an Ethernet. The wire would be a lot Ethernet. better. I, Say that again. I, 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 I do have it. I mean, I have it. Oh, this. so why is it cutting off on you? I don't know, beloved. I don't know. But I'm just saying, oh. what I'm saying to you, Brother Tahuti, is this, is that, yes, if the Most High is communicating with mankind and he's giving mankind's rules and regulations from the beginning, from the origin, yes, that will be considered the first religion. That will be considered the religion. You dig what I'm saying? If he's giving statue, commandments, uh, ways of concept thinking of, and stuff. Concept of spirit. spirit yes, afterlife. spirituality, all that. That will be considered as religion. We say the word religion loosely, but you know what I mean. Yes, so it, it, I don't understand a conflict in answering that question from the brother. All so, right, um, hey, brother Tahuti, I want to let you know this real quick. Yes. Be careful what you say. Eric Muhammad is tuned in. That's who I was speaking to. <laughs> and so be careful. Eric Muhammad, the assassin, is in the <laughs> building. So be careful, let brother. Me, let me let me. The go, nation let me of go. Islam, the, uh, the follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, <laughs> is in the building. So be careful, Taudi. Okay, I'm going to go to the community. So you better turn up a little bit. Let him know that you are a force <laughs> to be reckoned with. <laughs> well, if he wants to, to know if I'm a force to be reckoned with, he can just go to the... Uh, to the community and look at my debate status but shout yeah. out to eric muhammad i look i look forward to um speaking with you one day i'll also go to the community wall to yes. see the debates he's won but um shout out to eric assalamu alaikum peace to you and and uh one day yes. we'll we'll link up um very soon and talk about the nation of islam uh -oh. um so uh could i could i um could i show something on the screen real quick Stata? yes yes you can and virgil you're gonna have to learn how to do that if you don't know how to do it yet Share, you heard me, Virgin? Uh, share Sharing screen. your screen. Yeah, you, if okay. you don't know how to do that, you got to learn that because over here, we do sauce up or shut up, brother. And if Absolutely. you can't show no sauces, brother, <laughs> you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I'm I, kind of familiar with it, but I, I okay. can learn more. All right. Okay, wonderful. So this is the very first, this is in the, um, this is the temple of um, Ab Abydos or Abti with um, the ruler called um, Sorket or Scorpion. And this is the very first time we see, so this goes back 3400 BC, and this is the very first time we see the word um, spirit on the planet. The very first concept is actually this word right here, which is uh, Ku, Ku right here, which is actually the uh, the bird, which makes up my name, Tahuti. And it's the uh, concept in the word for spirit that goes back 3400 BC. And they were actually burying themselves in preparation for 
an eternal afterlife in 3400 BC. When I look at these um, symbols, I see animals. I see they communicated their spirituality through um, through animals. Um, there's no concept here about a monotheistic God. There's no concept here about, um, say, praying of any amount of times a day, doing Fajr or even the Christian prayers. This looks completely foreign to um, to what people are claiming as uh, as religion today. So I just wanted to show that just as something just to start off. I just wanted to start off like that. We can get a little um, deeper, but I just wanted to start off with just showing something, showing something factually to show that the first people on the planet that even brought the concept of spirit with the word Aku, which was the ibis or the habu bird of uh, Tahuti, were the people of the Nile Valley. And being that they're the ones that introduced spirit concept to the planet, uh, would they be the ones that were the closest and first that God taught? Because it doesn't seem like anybody else on the planet was representing God, Allah, or Jehovah at the time. Or a better question is, at that period of time, 3400 BC, to your knowledge, um, do you know of anybody representing um, Yahweh or Allah at that time, 3400 BC? Well, we 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 emphatically would say no because of the simple fact we know that God is a, uh, I think it's a Greek term, or and we no, know Allah, Allah, Allah is Arabic term, and we know that okay. these situations came much later. However, it's very interesting how you, it's very interesting what you brought out as far as speaking about the origin of the word spirit and how you um, more or less described how it was depicted by the people back then. Um, you, I know being a wise man of your, of your caliber, there is a methodology of interpreting it, right? I, is it my brother? Um, to Hootie, I believe that it is a methodology of an interpreting that in which you which you showed as far as the spirit, how it's being depicted as the bird and things of that nature or whatever. You dig what I'm saying? Y yes. Um, so as far as as far as methodology, method, each person has their own methodology. But as far as methodology, I can um, I can pull up where that actual word is in context. Mm -hmm. in the Purim Aru, speaking of the spirit leaving the body after death in the context of the people who wrote it themselves. Did the people showed. describe as far as, did the people describe what that it is? Did they describe what it is? See, because the reason why I asked that, Brother Tahuti, is because of the simple fact, like I told you before, I don't claim to have the total truth. I'm a student. You dig what I'm saying? Genuinely. And I ask questions genuinely. Mm -hmm. How did they interpret it? And why did they interpret it as such? Is the same way that they interpret spirit then? Is it the same as we interpret it now? Because the word spirit can be interpreted in many different ways. Consciousness, breath. You know, it could be interpreted in different ways. So how did they do it that would more or less propel you to believe and accept that their position is more applicable for you now than another person's position and interp their interpretation of it? Okay, good question. Uh, concept uh, is the concept as what it is now and what uh, give me a moment here um, and uh, um, absolutely not absolutely not the 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 concept is not the um, not the same the origin of the concept is the same but the concept is not the same so for example um, let me see something here One moment. So, for example, the um, the bird. Let me get back to you before I pull up anything. So, for example, mm -hmm. the bird in um, Kemet, the Habu bird. Is this, this it right here? Okay, my computer is doing something. Okay, 
I'll just you're breaking up, brother. You're breaking up, Tahuti. All right, so let me go ahead. You sound like I'm a robot, Tahuti. Uh, okay, how, how about now? Is this okay? Yes, that's okay now. Okay, let me go ahead and do this. Um, uh, one moment here. Okay, tell me if I'm sharing my screen here, um, son editor. You are sharing your screen. Okay. So um, you're absolutely right, brother, in the question. Let me close this up here. You're absolutely right in the question. So the concept of a spirit today, people actually make up the definition of a spirit today. But um, the actual word spirit just means breath. Spiritos, it just means breath. The concept of this word um, in ancient times was a word. I'm actually blowing it up right here. And it's a word that means um, consciousness. Let me see if I can get it on the screen. It's still loading up. I'm not sure why it's going so slow. But it's a word that means consciousness because it actually shows the bird in the glyph digging in the ground. And it means to, to find something. And it deals with consciousness and enchantment. So, for example, right here in the Param Haru, we see the same bird. And it means something that is enchanted, something that is said or an enchantment, some type of cant. And then we see the, uh, the word over here. The same word and it is a glorified soul because the word aku is a word that means light and the concept of light is the fact that there's a light energy that's inside the body that can actually be seen permeating out through curling photography but in those times they called it light which was aku and then you also find it translated as intelligence intellect which is also mental power which deals with being enlightened and here's the word right here and it also is light the exact same aku bird with the circle and the lines to it that we saw with the Scorpion King in 3400 um, in Abidal. So here it is as light. So it's light and it's consciousness, and it deals with thinking, light, consciousness. And this is the concept where we get the concept of the soul being a light inside of the body now in Christianity. But it deals with digging and looking for the origin of things. And that's why the bird, here it is as intelligence right over here in this line right here. And I'm going to blow this up. And we see right over here as ku which is intelligence. Do you see that, my brother? The exact same, mm -hmm. the same word, the same bird there. And there it is as intelligence. So it deals with digging for the truth, going for the to the source of something. And that is how you gain your intelligence, by being an avid studier and examiner. And that's why the word ma'at itself means to examine. Here's the bird right here. And now the bird is finding something because it digs down for the truth. So now the head is down. And you see the word cam, which means found something or digging. It's also mm -hmm. created because it deals with consciousness creating things because you create things with your light consciousness first. So it deals with digging, finding, and light consciousness, which is a lot different than just the concept of um, a spirit today, which doesn't have the symbolisms of what the animal is actually doing in the context mm -hmm. of the writing. We just see a word. But the point mm -hmm. I was making is that these concepts, while this is going on, um, I didn't find anybody on the planet discussing, um, say, God or a law at the time. And there should be, because God and a law, and just think about this, God and a law gave people the ability to communicate and write. He taught people how to write, how to read, how to, how to build. He's the first teacher. That's what makes us different from monkeys. But at this time, we, we don't find anybody representing a law or God or Yahweh reading, writing, building anything talking about their um, God or even building a society, but we find this. So you always ask people, are these the people of God? If they're the original people to talk about spirit, afterlife, good, bad, getting away from evil, wouldn't these be the people of God? Mm -hmm. Yes. The thing is, the thing is you have, you have, you have, you have credence in what you're saying. Yes. They are possibly are the people of God to, the understanding of which they have received from God at that point in history. See, that point in history is a point in history that we have no knowledge of except for what was left that you're reading from now. But to experience it on a level where you can properly interpret it and experience is as far from us because we're in 2023. See, Names of God, attributes of God, the things that God did, and all them type of things. 
them things explaining them evolved also in time, I believe. I don't believe that we sit just in a vacuum. I believe that we evolve. So explaining what the spirit is to the Egyptians, how they broke it down, and how we break it down, it may be elevation. It may be a different type of way of breaking it down. It's just a different way of breaking it down, but they're probably saying the same thing. You dig what I'm saying? Even when it comes yeah. down, even when it comes down to, even when it comes down to polytheism, when it comes down to that, because we're talking about understanding now. Now we're speaking about understanding what was meant. What did they mean? And that's the part that 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 triggers me and have me like thinking, what did they mean? What is the yeah. safest way of interpreting it? Right. So, so um, with all that being said, which is a which is a good an analysis and good investigation uh, analysis of the situation, we still um, don't have anyone representing um, the the precepts and concepts of the monothe of the uh, the god of the quran bible and such at this time we just don't have that we just we established that fact and when you and say I'm, I'm that turn my camera you, off for just a moment because i have to change something up there with okay, uh, one no of my problem. But, but my question is like when you say that when you say that that's a little bit crippled a little bit crippled because of the simple fact you truly don't understand what is before you 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 have you have you have nuts and you have you have crumbs of an understanding of what's before you that the Egyptians or the individuals left that you decipher. That's the part that's 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 eerie. Remember names Yahweh, Allah, all these things came later. We can agree on that. But when it comes down to the concept of religion and belief and that in which motivated the society at that time, that even went through a metamorphosis. That even went through certain levels of change. And that's the part that that's interesting to me. Okay, so, so when we say point in time, right? At that point in yes. time, I want you to understand that... Um, mm -hmm. There was no point in time that 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 ever changed. So what? What I what I just showed you. So what I showed you, I'm showing you from. I can show you from before that time all the way up to the Ptolemies. So from mm -hmm. 4000 BC all the way up to when it changed was when the Ptolemies, Greek invaders, came in in 332 um, BC. And what are you talking about? It. What are you talking about in particular? The, the understanding of the word spirit. The, the you concept. Talking about in general, the concept of gods, because the, of the simple fact, the, when we start whole, talking about the concepts of gods, we're talking about that's a whole different subject. The the Are concept, speak, the, the concept of the the concept of the Nitiru, the, 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 the gods, the concept of the Nitiru, the concept of the afterlife, the concept of everything, was one way, going continuously until the Ptolemies came. And, and change the situation. So it wasn't a point in time in history. It was thousands and thousands and thousands of years. So we have from 4,000 BC mm -hmm. all the way up to 3,000 years later in all mm -hmm. of that time, was there ever anyone representing Allah? So can not I just ask that, a question? Not just that, but not, so can not I ask you a that, question? Right, right. But, it's, not, but not just that point in time. But for four thousand years on the planet, was was anybody teaching about Allah? I got you. All? So, so are you are you are you saying to me, beloved, that the theology of Egypt was the same? The tenets that the Egyptian mystery school taught and preached throughout all the dynasties are were the same. The law, all the, law the ways. 
let me let me let, okay. let me I just want you to I just want you to, to, to embrace it first. All of it in a in a nutshell was the same. They did not believe differently at different times. Is that Are you question? saying that? Is that the question? Yes, sir. Okay, wonderful. Um, there was no time where people in Kemet did not believe in the Netter, in Ma'at, in Ra, in Aten. There was no time where they did not believe in Asar, Aset. All of this is one consistent story and theme, meaning that there wasn't any form of uh, a complete foreign, like, we believe you're in You're speaking a, in generalities, right? You're speaking in generalities. Speaking, you're I'm not speaking, talking about in particulars. I'm speaking in the difference between Pharaoh Ramesses, right? Pharaoh Ramesses, and an imam in the Ahmadiyya faith. You see the huge difference between King mm -hmm. Tut? That's a difference from the big from Kemet to the to the Ptolemies, Ma'at, the afterlife, the Netters, the story of the Netters. This is a theme that goes on for thousands of years. I'm I'm just asking if you know, if you don't know, it's fine. Was there anyone for these thousands of years speaking about a belief in a Yahweh or in a law for thousands, well, beloved, beloved, for these thousands beloved, beloved. of years? And the, and the language of the Phoenicians, which would have which had the word a law in it, and I can show that the word a law existed back then too. So a law existed, and so did Yah. Did anybody teach the belief system of the religion of a Yah and an Allah during the thousands of years after God created the earth? Beloved, we understand that, a, that the belief system in the terms Allah and Yahweh, these are just terms describing something. This is a language. I'm speaking about, see, we can hone men on just that. We can home in on that. Where was they? Where was this Allah? Where was this Yahweh? When Menace was there, when Norma was there, when Ra was there, where was this Yah? Where was this Allah? We can go into that. How or anybody that believed in them? Yes. Oh, anybody that believed in them? Anybody spoke that language? See, we're just speaking about languages. I'm speaking about. I, okay, we're not speaking about just languages. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're, we're not speaking, speaking about pottery, about... archaeology. We're speaking about yes. houses, yes. homes, things, yes. societies. Yes. Not just not just a language. But, but you're say... looking for you're looking, but you're using the term Yahweh. You're using the term Allah because these are the the the, the verbal descriptions that you're using to identify gods, right? Right, so now I get you, my beloved. I get you. I get you. My thing is asking the question of just because something is old, that don't make it exclusively right. Yes, brother, speak. Okay. Would so, you agree? Would you agree? That's a question. That's a statement. But you, I would you know, like to... you, okay. You know what's interesting is that through the, throughout this conversation, I've actually never brought up right or wrong yet, have I? No, no, I, I, I did. That's yeah. why I asked so, you. So, so that's that's a, that's another conversation. This conversation is about. I am a father. I create children on this planet for the very first time. The very yeah. first humans on this planet. I teach them how to brush their teeth. They got to, or else they'll get cavities i teach them how to clothe themselves yes. how to write yes how to set up small families i teach them yes. my way of life my religion mm -hmm. they continue it for thousands and thousands of years yes here we are thousands and thousands of years later and i'm yes. asking where are those people that a law mm -hmm. where are the civilizations the writings the anything of anybody attesting to this because when i go back and back and back the first people talking about a creator that created them in their image and their likeness from the dust of the ground, from the clay of the earth, from the potter's wheel, are the people in the Nile Valley. Mm -hmm. And it has, it nothing, has nothing to do 
the people in the Nile Valley to the to the Muslims are pagans. If I walk in a mm -hmm. Imam mosque, if I walk in a mosque right now with mm -hmm. this spider on my hat, this serpent, mm -hmm. and this comedic shirt on with the per em haru, they're gonna yeah, throw me right. out and call me a pagan. So obviously, this does not comport. The per em haru is not taught in mosques, but the per em haru and the coffin text and the pyramid text were taught from the beginning of Kemet to mm -hmm. the middle of Kemet to the end of the Nile Valley culture mm -hmm. continuously. But now if I take the pyramid text mm -hmm. and the coffin text into mosque number 34, they kick me out. So it's obviously yes. not the same teachings. So I'm yes. asking the teachings that are representing Islam and Christianity, where were they after God made Adam and Eve? What, and, what happened to them? Did they and, and, I, and I'm asking and I'm and I'm and I'm telling you definitively that there is no evidence to depict where they are in okay. a definitive way of thinking or description in which you are requesting. However, mm. even saying that, I will ask you, where did the Egyptians get theirs from? Is it okay. a definitive? So we're going to de establish one thing at a time. So, because this is, this is just how I work. So right now, what we've established right now is the answer is there is no people from 5000 BC up until the ADs. That spoke up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That, that spoke up. That spoke up a law, that spoke up a law in the term of A L L A H and no, Yahweh. No. no, no, I'm not talking about a language. Well, that's what I'm I'm speaking of because I'm you're not speaking of you're not talking about a language, a but culture, but a civil okay. Hold on, let me we'll slow down. Slow down. If you ahead. leave your house right now, I know you live there. Yes. Because you see the DJ stuff in the back and you see your shoes and your toothbrush yes. has your DNA on it. I know, yeah. I know you were there. You lived yes. there for a certain period of years, and you probably only lived there for That's a few not... years. Yes, Imagine sir. you lived there for, for 5,000 years. You and okay. your family lived there on the street for 5,000 okay. years, mm -hmm. and there's no trace of you. Does that yes, exist sir. in human existence? Does God create a people, give them everything they need, set up the Tower of Babel? They do all of these things, Yes, and there's no trace not of the language but of anybody believing in that faith where is the evidence that we as black people believed in the faiths of these abrahamic or these one god religions from mm -hmm. from the creation of the earth until the ptolemies mm -hmm. is there is there anybody preaching it setting up a school a doctor's office setting up um mm -hmm. anything anything that represents that just not the word a l l a h but just the or, concept or yahweh are yahweh's because both of those words existed in the time of the mm -hmm. Kemetians. i can show both of those words yah and allah existing at the time mm -hmm. for four ramesses so i'm i'm just asking a question but we're establishing oh, that there's none so the answer is there's none that's the I, answer i i i, I love it i understand where you're coming from and I'm and I yield it. I yield it as far as when it comes down to material evidence. I yield it when it comes down to material evidence. However, now I ask you to present the evidence that what you're saying pertaining to the interpretation of Egypt, of Egypt, the Egyptian mystery school, religion, or whatever you stand upon what is the evidence of it being true oh beautiful so of it being of it being true and where did they get it from oh but we can't oh, but before hold on, hold on, and, hold on for a second hold on. First, the first the and. first the first question was the first question was hold up beloved the first question was where did they get it from Wonderful. see because before you start, before you start, because <laughs> okay. I want you to realize, beloved, my beloved brother, listen to me, man. Mm -hmm. And yo, we living in 2023. Everything that give, that is given to us is from the past. We have to do the dishes. You have to believe what you want, what you, what you, what you have in front of you is the truth, or what you practicing is the truth. You have to believe it. You wasn't there. I wasn't there. So I never wasn't there. None of us was there. 
So now I'm asking you, because you're homing on, you're 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 painting a picture of saying that. Listen, I have a track record of of uh, ancestry of doing X Y Z. Now I'm asking you to prove that that is true. Where did they get that from? Who taught them that? Okay. Question question asked. The beautiful thing about the 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 Nile Valley people, the beautiful thing yes. about us, melanated people, is that we are mm -hmm. the creators. We, us. We're the gods and we're the creators. And we create these things. Oh, God, mute, mute. This is one of the interesting things. I hear Sanetter say I hear Sanetter say this also. I teach this also. We were the netter. We were the we were the gods and we created it. So when people say um Yahweh came down from the skies and gave this knowledge to to the Hebrews and Allah came and gave to Gabriel Gabriel, we actually teach that we are the ones that were here and we came up with this. We created this as the best way of life by looking and analyzing nature, the gods came up with the best way of life also of course by tapping in to aspects that are not quite as physical as me and you talking right now but mm -hmm. tapping into subconscious aspects and getting information from from areas that you can't necessarily um see and i can get into scientifically proving that as well but we that's the beauty that's the beautiful thing of it is that when it comes to the other religion they give the creation of it to an invisible god but to support we, we, my, we, beloved we, we, Tahuti, we, my beloved brother Tahuti, my beloved brother Tahuti, you have to be careful. You have to be careful because when you say we I have, have to finish, this, right? Just, let me finish. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. The beautiful thing is that the beautiful thing of what I teach is I tell my brothers and sisters, you take the credit. You are the creators that built this. You are the ones that create that that came up with Ma'at. You are the ones that did this. That makes you responsible, you accountable, and you God. So if you mess up with Ma'at, it's you. You can't say, well, God will forgive me. It will be, he'll come and, and the, no. So that's the beauty of it. And that's what the European can't stand is that we create these ancient ways of life, which end up being the best and the most optimum way of life that everybody in the world came to because whatever we created, advanced our mind to the world to see we were thousands of years ahead of everybody because we are the gods now my beloved brother honestly do you what you just said do you believe that that's going against your doctrine do your doctrine teach that see that's the deep see this is the see this is the interesting part do your doctrine teach that? Do Egypt, do the Egyptian mystery school teach that? Do, the beautiful, do, uh, do hold on, let me finish. One question. Does, one does one the creation question. stories that come out of Egypt that you in, in that you hold to, do they teach that man created the world? Do they teach that that's man created the world? That's a different let question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Question. Let me let me finish. Let me just ask. Let me just ask, brother. Let me just ask, beloved. Mm -hmm. Does your doctrine teach that man created the universe? It created no. the world. Does it teach no. that man created your four rivers and everything that popped up out of it came from no. man? My no. beloved brother, didn't you see? You just contradict the whole situation no. then just now. You changed, you changed the question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not the same question you asked. No, no, no. Listen to me. I asked you. <laughs> you said you created. You said you created it. You said what we was the created. Question, brother, do you remember you the stood question? On that. Hold up, hold up, beloved. You said you <laughs> stood, you stood on it ten toes down. You said we teach that we created it. We created did what? What every it? day? I said that, beloved. I ain't gonna say you said that in particular. Okay, just go by what I said. What I meant. You know, you know what you said, beloved. So I, let's I, not get particular. Let me say this to you. I, I am very meticulous I, in particular, brother. That's me why too, I went on the too. Debate. That's I'm why I'm very, a good, I'm a good, I'm a particular. very good listener. I did not say what you're saying right now. All right, listen you're to me. You're misrepresenting me right I'm now. I'm, allow sure. you, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll the allow it. you to, I'll, I'll, I will allow you, I will allow you to re-articulate it. Say it again, my beloved, so we can hear okay, it. Okay, so the question, how the question this, you asked. How do you know that this is true? That was what 
the path that is laid down from the Egyptian mystery school that you stand on, you particular, how do you know that it's true? That's not the question that I answered. You asked the question. Right, well, answer it the best way you can, beloved. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> the question you asked me, this is why I win my debates because I don't veer off into all this other th I, I still I haven't veered off into anything. You, you, I'm you staying on point. Me, you, okay. Let me know when you're done, brother. I'm done. Are you done? Yes, my brother. Okay. You asked me, where did the Egyptians get this from? Yes. I answered, we came up with this. This way of life, Ma'at, that's what I answered. You never asked me, who did the Egyptians say created the universe and the stars and the heavens and the skies? You just said, where did they get this from, this information from, and this way of life from? I said, the beautiful thing about it is that we created, as opposed to the religious people who say that yeah. God came and yeah. gave it to them. Mm -hmm. You changed it to, I yeah. said, who created the tigers and Euphrates? Who created the stars and the universe so, and the heavens? And so the my beloved brother, so, to so cut through it. I, I, I cannot move on until you acknowledge that. I acknowledge did you, it. Did you I change acknowledge it? it? Did you I change? acknowledge it. Okay. I, I acknowledge Thank it. You. Is now, it, how did we come now, up How many with questions? It? This is the sixth question. No, 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 no. No, it ain't the sixth question. It ain't the sixth question. It ain't the sixth question, my beloved brother. It ain't the what sixth question. question is this it is the question of all questions. Well, one. <laughs> it is the question of all questions, beloved. Can continue, version. How? And then Tahuti, you can start asking after yes, this. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. What else? Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. So we came up with this. Did we come up with the concept of how this thing came into existence also? But before you answer that, I'm going to stop there and go into this. <laughs> what you just now said that we came up with this, does that go against your doctrine? Which one of those four questions would you like me to answer? Just ask, I'm very that, the last one. one the, the last one, one that I just said. The last one that okay. I just said. The last does it repeat, go against what you just one, said? One when you said we came up with this, when you said we yeah. came up with this, because that's a that's a that's a big hole right there. When you say mm -hmm. we came up with this, we designed this, we made this the way that it is. Does yes. that go against your doctrine? No. Tell me why not. Because does your doctrine say that you made it? Me personally? No. Now we it's personally as a, now. Okay. Yeah. We as a collective, yes. We are the gods. So when I talk of one of the things that is different between what I teach and what several other people that are teaching commit, they say, Tahuti, you say the gods were real. The gods were the netters were real. And I say, Yes, there was a group of people on this on this planet that call themselves Osiris and they call themselves a netter. That a was an group? ancient god. There was that a was an ancient group? god. There was one second, please. So when I say we, I'm talking about the collective consciousness that all of us, all the way to the gods that were calling themselves a netter, and I call myself a netter too. All of us together, we created this as a group. I do not separate myself from the ancients going back as far back as you want to go. We could be the only ones that created because who else could create it? The grasshopper. The slug, the monkey, only us has the has the consciousness to create it. Am I saying we were always in this form? No, no. But that whatever form we transferred from, that's still a part of the us. So yes, we created it. And if you want to go back to a god that wasn't in physical form, that's us too. See, that's a problem. That's a problem because of the simple <laughs> fact. What I mean by that's a problem. You know why that's a problem, beloved? That's a problem sure. according to your doctrine. Because your doctrine don't propagate that. Your, your doctrine doesn't teach that. You know what I know it. Your doctrine doesn't teach that. None of the creation stories teach that. That teach come what? out of ancient Egypt teach that, what you just said. And what I'm saying to you is this, is that I understand, though. I'm your brother. I'm going to listen to you. I know that. I know that. I know that it's working for you. It's working for you. But it's not making sense to me based on the line of logic that you're using. The line of logic that you're using to support it is like, okay, 
at the end of the rainbow, you're going to say that you made it all. It's a powerful question I can ask after that. It's how, and then you, you will never be able to answer that. You will never be able to answer that. How was it done? See, the thing is this. Me, myself, personally, like I said, I don't claim to have the total truth. That's why I'm a student. I will never lose an argument because I will never argue. I will always ask questions to seek knowledge, to broaden my horizon. Even if I take a position in Islam, Christianity, Judaism, or Nazareth, I take a position in it, that's one thing for a social, uh, uh, for, for a, 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 a certain level of moral conduct that I choose to live by, it's a beautiful thing. But when it comes down to understanding the past and putting okay, your foot okay. down, let me finish, putting your foot down and saying that this is this, it's hard for us to do that without doubt. Okay, we're, we're I don't want to do the gish gallop. So what I want to do is you made okay. a claim and I'm making a claim. You say the I haven't made a claim. You your your claim was that my ancestors and teaching don't teach what I'm teaching. So could you please where where is the source of what you're speaking of? Where are the Have ancestors? Heard, what is what is the Egyptian creation story? That's a, how that's did a they question. say? How did yeah. they say? That's a, question. It, that's a question. That's right. How did I'm they you say? Let, listen, listen to me. How did they say things came into existence? My brother, I don't know. Tell me. I'm a student. No, you made you made you made the claim that what I teach goes against. What the Kemetians taught. So, what is it that you saw? Pull it up, please. What is it the Kemetians taught that goes against what I say? So you want me to? You want me to? You want me to get to a creation story? What, you want me what to is it to that story? I'm asking you? Want me to you read you a creation story, ancient Egyptian creation story of what they believe? You, you can you can read the creation story, but what is it that that says that's different from what I'm saying? It doesn't. Uh, you want me? To, I can. I can go find. Can, I can go can, right over. You, I can you go can get a book off of memory. Get, you can say it any way you want. But how is that saying different from what I'm saying? You're as a saying that you. You're thing. saying. Listen to me. You're saying that you, as we, as men, we made this. But I never limited you're it. Saying to men. No, you saying no, but you. You saying no, but did you saying yeah? Very specific. I said from whatever form we may have been in, it's all a part of the conscious collective we. I never said just men, only men, whatever well, form, because the, the concept of a man, the, the concept, the, the concept the of a man. I, I need to be able to speak, though. I don't. I'm sure if you're giving I'm a sorry, lecture. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you, are you are you ready? I'm going to screen share something. So since you couldn't show um, any, <laughs> any source, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do the. I'm going to go ahead and show. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do a entire screen the, the, the creation entire story. screen share. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and show. Here we go. All right, so this is something that I ask people. Um, tell us about this prayer, about the perception of all hearts and the rays of the illumination of the two lands. He makes the lands, he causes one to breathe. How does the, how does the Netzer do this? So here I'm going to read something from the Kemetic writings, if you can see this. I'll, bl I'll blow it up a little bit there. It says, place his majesty in a friendly fashion in your thoughts. He is perception, which is in all hearts and his eyes pierce through every being. He is Ray, by who rays one sees, for he is one who illuminates the two lands more than any sun disk. He is the one who makes the land green, even more than the high inundation. He has filled the two lands with victory and life. Nostrils are cool when he starts to rage, but when he sets in his, in his peace, one can breathe air again. He gives nourishment to those in his circle, and he feeds the one who adheres to his path. Now, from you hearing that, my good brother, what is that? What is that? What is that describing to you? What would you say a person is describing, right there? You're speaking of a a, a male person doing certain things. A male person doing certain things um, in creation. That's so. That's a creator. What kind of? What kind? Of, what? It, what is this describing? Is this? A, is this a describing a, a creator? He is the All one right. who illuminates the two lands. He plays, his Majesty. His Majesty in friendly fashion and thoughts. He is the. He is perception, 
which is in all is in hearts, hearts. In, in all eyes, and his eyes pierce through every being. Who is that? He who is, is that describe? Right. Who is that describing? What's that describing there? That's what I'm asking. Well, I mean, a religious mind would 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 connotate that to a god. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. <laughs> is it true? However, is it true? However, how listen, that, beloved is, brother, is it true? My beloved brother, we're in, uh, listen to one me. Topic listen to at me. a time, please. Well, hold on, hold on for a second. Time, hold on, please. hold on for a second. Hold on for a second, beloved. Let me say something to you. I can put, I can read off a piece of paper, and say a bunch of stuff. But is it what makes it true? You're asking more questions, my brother. Gish Gallo. Can we deal with the one question you ask and get to the end of each? This is how people. I are, haven't asked the question. You asked me a question. Co co coherent thinking, coherency. You know, you asked you me ask a question, you, right? <laughs> yes. I asked you, who is this talking about? And I told you that a religious mind would say God. God, right. This is talking about a man. And it's, this and man, I, I right. That also. This man has all the attributes of Ray, and it even says he is Ray. He, he is illuminates Ray? All, the, all, the, all the attributes of what you would call the Most High. He gives nourishment to all the circles. Nostrils are cooled when he starts his, his rage. He is the perception of in all hearts, and his eyes pierce through every being. But do you know him. any? Do you know any man? Do you know any man on the planet who his eyes pierce through every being? No, this is a man living in the microcosm of the netter. We did not separate ourselves from the power of the netter. So when we described ourselves, we described ourselves the same way that we would describe the netter. So when you pull up a creation story and start describing how a netter created, I'm saying yes, that's us, because the description of men and netter in the now valley were the same that is all our one consciousness it's still oh, so you was so you was so you are set yes i can you are, be. you are you are a saw i i i can be as a matter of fact he, he as, a, seen, as a let me he, let me let me answer as a matter of fact in the per m haru you are called a sar throughout the whole per m haru okay. each person is called a sar okay. and you're called bastet Okay. And you're called Sekhmet. You're the called interpretation, Star, but what because, I'm saying, interpreting. In, so, oh, holy brother. No, the, right, so there's no separation. Yes, I can be an Asar. Absolutely, All yes. Right. So, so basically, then you're contradicting your position as far as a set, a saw, Heru, and everyone else being literal, if you take that position. Because you're no. saying you you can be it too, and Absolutely. this is straight up and down symbolism. This is this is uh, this is. Did you deal with you dealing how with many, how many how many Muhammad's do you know? See now you talking about names, and See, you were talking about names too. No, we, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm names talking about attributes. I'm I'm speaking about yeah, you speaking about attributes, but I'm talking about the literal person. So, so what is it? Hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on, hold on for a second. Yes. So mm -hmm. what is it? Is the people, was these literal people or these were people that all of us can be? Both. See, this is interesting. See, all very, right, brother. I mean, I'm not going, I ain't going to rock you. I it, mean, is I very, mean, it is very, very interesting. And brother, yes. I'm not going to rock you, my brother. I'm going a, I'm to a listen to you. Okay. Is wonder, both? Can you, can you explain yeah, to me how it's both? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, because come you, on, brother. Absolutely, Teach because me. You, I'm missing. Okay, absolutely, because because Michael Persinger, who's a studier of the 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 resonance and the wavelengths of seven point nine to eight point nine, who studied with with the CIA's top remote viewer, understood mm -hmm. completely that you could share consciousness with multiple beings simultaneously. So consciously, you are yourself. Cool. It, it, I, I can pull it up on the screen. Michael, Pill Michael Pillinger, who studied that consciousness can be shared and expanded through light and that you can share the consciousness of other people at the same time. So you can actually share the knowledge of other people and knowledge is not limited to just what's inside of your brain. So yes, you can be you 
And yes, you can have the spirit of Malcolm X, you can have the spirit of Khalid Muhammad, you can have the consciousness of anyone that you wish to channel because then none of their energies died. But love, I understand, but that's that that sounds real pseudo, but I understand what you're saying. Who's who I said it? Where, but what I'm saying, I, I, I listen, let me say something. Pseudo, not, not All right, there. time out, time out. Both <laughs> brothers, time out for a minute. Yes, sir. Okay, um, Tahuti been on the hot seat for a minute. And so I now I would like I would like to um I would like to have Tahuti <laughs> ask you a series of questions, brother. So we're gonna change this around now. Uh, and Tahuti, been asking me questions. What you talking Tahuti, about? Tahuti, you got the floor, brother. <laughs> now nah, you've been asking four or five questions at a time. Serious? Bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'll tell you, been he got me on a hot seat. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been I've been answering questions since I got yes. here. Yes, I don't know where you've I mean, been, Virgil. He's been asking questions. I'm a student, man. I'm listening, man. I'm All right, it. so Tahuti is on you now, brother. Okay, oh, oh, one second. I just lost the screen. Hold on, one moment. But I love the dialogue, though, man. It's it's a beautiful thing, man. I I mean, like, it is. It's intriguing to me, man. Like, I believe that we have to. We have to find a means of a vehicle that we can more or less prosper through mentally, physically, and spiritually in this day and time. You have to use it to help your situation in this day and time. It has to be applicable. It has to be of value. And it has to work for us as a people and as an individual first. You know what I mean? But come on, brother, uh, my brother, brother Tahuti, come on and teach me, man. I'm you know, I'm, I'm listening, man. I'm listening, man. I, I, you know, I'm a student. I mean, hey, man, what I'm gonna do? You know, I'm listening, man. You know, you, you listen, asking questions. Okay, and asking questions. And I gotta go skating in a few minutes. Y'all better hurry up, man. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. a skater. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Roller skater or skateboarder? Roller skater. I'm a roller skater. Okay, so. Let me let me ask this first of all. Let's establish that without the hadith, there wouldn't be um, things such as praying five times a day, the positions of prayer, um, rakaats, uh, dhikr beads, uh, going to Mecca at a certain time. Would you agree that any of that is inside of the Quran? No, none of none of none of none of that is inside of the Quran. If none you take that. those things, if you take those things away from Islam, can you still have an imam? What you mean by imam? The the im, you never heard of an imam? I'm sorry. No, so what you imam, mean by a leader? You talking about a leader? The 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 the, the head of the mosque can the head yeah, of the he, mosque a leader? Still stand, yeah, can the head of the mosque still stand up and teach without those principles? Can he not pray five times a day? Can he not do wudu fajr? Can he not do the 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 dhikr beads? Can he not do all of that and still be the leader of the of any mosque? Okay, now check this out. Listen to me. Listen to me, my beloved brother. That's just a yes. That's just a yes or no. It ain't a yes or no. It ain't a yes or no. No, why? Because oh, really? it's different. Okay. Is listen to me. It's different perspectives, brother uh, Tahuti. Listen, you have a group right now that stands on Quran only. They don't even follow the Quran. Then you have another group of Muslims that follow the Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Hadith. They believe that the Hadith is an interpretation of the Quran. It explains the Quran. This group over here, they believe that the Quran alone is sufficient. Me, I'm in 2023. I look at both. Individually, as an individual, I say to myself, I say, well, this is the Quran. For me to understand the Quran, I have to, me, I have to go into the hadith a little bit, even though I understand the history of how it was compiled and the, 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 the shortcomings of it. I have to go into the, the dress a little bit more deeper understanding of the practices that oh. is being inculcated in the Quran. So that's now, a no? Your question, no, your question is loaded. If I say yes or I say no, I can still be wrong. I know is, it. I know. Hold on. Let me is, hold on. Let me say something. Let me say something. Can, yeah. me say something to you. If I say yes or I say no, I can be in error in answering it. That's why I have to explain to you the 
both positions in my position. There, okay. Factually, from your position, from what you've seen, is there anyone that stands up front in a mosque and calls himself an imam, the leader of the mosque, and does not pray five times a day, does not do wudu, does not do no. Ramadan? No, it's no one. It's no so one that doesn't do it. So no in one other that, words, yeah, your order, question, your order, question. So in order to be an you imam. You got to let him finish, Virgil. Let him finish. So in okay. order to be an imam, you must do those things because there is no imam that doesn't do those things. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. If so, could you name one? Yes. It's no imam that I know of, my beloved brother Tahuti, that does not do those things, my brother. It's clear. Yeah, thank it's you. Without so a doubt. Without a doubt. There's no imam okay. that does that. But, however, hold up, Taudi. Hold on. What's don't, the, wave, whatever don't wave it off. What's don't wave it off too fast. Listen to <laughs> yeah. me, brother. Don't wave it off too fast. However, who's to say that these brothers okay. over here that say the Quran only don't have okay. a point? No one's to say because... I I don't no one's to say because I don't deal with fantasy. So all we do factually, what we know now is that there is no such there is no such imam or leader of a mosque on a planet that doesn't do those things. And in order to do those things, you need the hadith. Those things are not in the Quran. Yes. Is that correct? In order to do so them you things, need, you have to you, need, you have to you, need, you have to follow the hadith. So you need the hadith in order to be a leader of your religion, to be the leader see? of a mosque. You see, you see, leader, you see the leader of the leader of the religions are called imams and the shek imam. Well, listen, hold on, hold on for a second. Order hold on for a second, beloved. But let me say something. Need a to name you. of one, just a name of one. That's all. All right, let me say something to you. That perspective that you're saying right now is subjective. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's subjective to the individual that practices that. I just gave you What's the a name? group of. Hold up, stop. I gave you a group of two different camps. You got a camp that say Quran only, and you got a camp that say Quran and ID. It's What's to the mom's perspective. Name? Hold on, hold on, hold it, brother. Relax. Let me just get this out. Beloved. I just want one question. Is there any mom? Yo, yeah, listen, listen. I asked it that three, four times already. So I in other words, twice. you cannot... Beloved, so you cannot beloved. be any more. Yo, Virgil, you got to let him ask you the question. Yeah, I, I am, I am. But I'm All saying, right, but you, you're talking I'm over him. I'm I'm getting talk, to a point. Virgil, you're talking getting, over him, brother. You got to let him get it out. Wait, wait, so over in, you. Order to, in order to be, in order to be the, the head leader in Islam, you have to read and believe in Hadith. Yes or no. If not, the name for me, a head leader, in Islam, not not Farrakhan, talking about in the Islam that the the Sunni Shia Ahmadiyya you say that that's not is, Islam. Is, is Islam? You don't represent that. The, the Islam, the is Islam. Can you be an, Farrakhan doesn't have an Imam? Can you be an Imam and not read Hadith? Yes or no? It's very cut, clear, dry. Can you be an Imam and not read Hadith? Yes or no? Uh, I believe you. I, I believe in this day and time how people are interpreting Islam and how they are practicing Islam, Quran only, and those that say they follow Quran and Sunnah. Yes, you can be an individual. So there's can an be a leader from this. Hold up, brother. You asked a question. You gotta let me answer. Yes. What's the What's the Imam? Do they have any Imam? My beloved brother. My beloved brother. Let me say this to you. If you ask a question, you have to let me answer it. Let him answer the question, Tahuti. Listen okay. to me. Different camps. That's why I keep telling you your question is subjective to the individual. A Quran, I could talk to a Quran only Muslim. He'll tell me, Yo, listen, man, you don't have to follow no hadiths. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. And we have a leader. We have an imam right here. That's subjective to him. I could I, talk I, to a Sunni. Let me finish. I could talk to a Sunni Muslim, and he could say, "Let me tell you something. You will not have. You won't know the concept of having an imam, choosing an imam, praying five times a day, or any of that, if you didn't follow these hadiths." That is true. Yeah, yeah, hold up, stop. But, but look, what I'm trying to tell is true, but it's subjective to the individual's belief. Okay, let's narrow it down to you, my good brother. Let's narrow it down to you because I want. I told you my position. I don't want to. I don't want to go all around the world. Let's narrow it down to you in the Islam that you believe in. Because I don't know. You said you, you. Do you say you're Ahmadiyya? What did you say? You went from Sunni to this to that. No, no, I'm not Ahmadiyya. This asking what did you? What do what, I believe. Just asking yeah, what I believe. What's the What's the Islamic mosque or so that you 
are a part of or attend. Moss, what's, 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 the Moss, I'm anything from, that you're I'm, a part of. You said the Moss. I, 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 I belong to Masjid Atakwa in Brooklyn. Masjid Atakwa in, in Brooklyn. Okay, Bethany beautiful. Folk. Do they have any? Does Masjid Atakwa have any moms? Yes. Yes, sir. Does that imam, in order to be a leader in Masjid Atakwa, do you need to read the Hadith? Yes. Ah, <laughs> thank you, man. Oh gosh, my okay, beloved good. brother, why you, why you acting like, why you, my, my, my brother, around, like, hey, hey, all you know, so long, words, you, words, you hold, all, all, all of them, you know, all you know you're wrong, Taudi. You know I yeah. answered that question all four times. I told you my yeah. position three times. Virgil, Virgil, brother, time. come on, Virgil. You, the, you the, is, the Islam, the Islam <laughs> that you're a part, of, the Islam that you're a part of, because when you asked me about my comedic teachings, you didn't ask me what Jabari yeah. believes in. You didn't ask me what Brother Reggie. There's different. There's Smash Rockwell. There's yes, Jabari. There's, I don't have to. Uh, right, right, right. Son of with Chaka Ak Virgil, Ak Virgil, Virgil, brother, you got to have some decorum, brother. All right, all right, sorry, Come on, man. man. You, you got to ask a lot of questions. That's the last time you want to say that. Brother. I'm going to be easy. Right, do your yeah, thing. Yeah, you got to have discipline. The, when, and don't, 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 when, you're going to have a chance to question them again, so relax. I finally pinpointed it to, in order to be your type of Muslim, in the mosque that you attend, you cannot be a leader there unless you believe in the hadiths. Is that correct? Yes, I believe so. Yes. Okay. So I have some questions. Let's say I want to be a leader in your mosque. I have some questions coming from the hadith, and I'll go to the Quran. Is that fair? Well, what in order to questions? be a leader, but hold, he... it, but hold it though. What does that have to do with me? <laughs> because you would because you because that's your leader. No, no, no everything hold, it. hold on, hold on, stop. See, this is what I mean. See, this Virgil, is... you gotta let him ask the question. All right, but hold it though. You don't well, know where he's going yet. Sonetta, no, no. Sonetta, Sonetta, I'm not nah, asking. Nah, you, bro, you can't the... do that, brother. You gotta I allow know. him to ask you. I know this is getting hot. I know it's getting hot. <laughs> you See, okay, he could have been over with already, but you keep interrupting <laughs> him, man. <laughs> you gonna be over. You belong. You belong. You, you belong to a group that has a yes. leader in it called an imam. He's yes, the lead. Sir. He's the leader over you. Yes, sir. He's over you. Your position is not where he is. He is the example, the leader. He's where you go to for the guidance. He's the imam, the one up front. He's the leader. Now, right. I want to study to be a leader in your group, in your in your mosque. I must believe in the hadiths mm -hmm. because you can't be a leader in your group without believing in the hadiths. Does the hadiths teach true factual information? For example, do you believe that our ancient ancestors were giants over 50 feet tall? Is that is that something that the imam should teach? And me being an imam, should I teach that? That Adam and Eve and his children, they were over 50 feet tall. Is that something I should teach my children to raise them up in black consciousness? That's a question, my brother. You asking? Yeah. That's a, that that's a solid mean, question. That that's a solid right? question, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now I just want to know if it's a solid question. Now, my beloved yes. brother, listen to me. Um, I don't know if you should teach that or not. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not really a fan of hadith like that, but I do follow some hadith. I do, I do real hadith are very important in that they are essential to me in my growth and development. But there are certain hadiths that I believe that doesn't affect my salvation. So that particular question that you asked me, beloved, I don't know, man. That's like. Okay, let me do a quick, You're not talking to a person. Hold on, first, okay. hold on, hold on. You're not speaking to an orthodox individual. No, I'm speaking to somebody from mosque. What? What is it called? Mosque? What? I told you. I I told you. I told no. you what mosque. Hold on, hold on. I told you. I told you the mosque that I attend. That who? Do you, you have a leader? Me, in? Look, listen, listen to me. I told you the mosque that I attend. Then you asked me about how the leader of that mosque should believe and what he should believe in. And if he be doesn't believe in it, could he be an imam? And I Over answered you. that. I said, no. He can't be an imam if he doesn't believe in hadith. 
Right. Yes. And so in all fairness, in all fairness, specifically in all in all fairness, you can't teach and believe in Ma'at if you don't believe in the Book of the Dead, the 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 coffin text. If you don't believe in the, if you say, well, I, I believe in I'm I'm a teacher of Ma'at, I'm a high priest, but the Book of the Dead, nah, I don't like that one. The coffin text, yeah, I'll take that one. No, but you so do it though. You're, but you you're, do you're, it though, my brother Saudi. You know why you do it? See, what me, I'm trying what, to say, hold up, Virgil, Virgil, you are another, the one. Man, is topic? This, I would, you're I the one being questioned, brother. My, yes, I would like to show my screen, please. So I know can I show my screen? <laughs> yes. Okay, let me just show my screen just real quick. I just want. All right, I'm gonna come back to Virgil me. after this one, so he can ask you your questions, brother. Okay, because this is the, you know this is my first one question, right? I think Virgil already <laughs> got on his skates already. He's skating like a mug. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I sharing my screen? Oh, damn, well, yes, you're sharing, sharing your screen. screen. Yeah. This is light. I'm sharing my screen. Okay, great. Yeah, okay, probably. so we're in the we're in volume four, book fifty five. This is what's needed in order to be a leader in Islam, in order to be a, a imam or representative representation of the community in Islam. You must believe in the hadith and this particular hadith is believed in all throughout all islamic factions except for maybe you know the, right the, now the, you you know that's prophet, called prophet you gotta let them go prophet, versus you prophet. gotta you're gonna be able to the answer prophet. all that okay because this is now quoting from the prophet the prophet said and the prophet is muhammad who's the one that brought the quran allah, the prophet said allah created adam making him 60 cubits tall when he created him he said Go and greet that group of angels and listen to their reply, for it will be your greeting salutations and the greeting salutation of your offspring. So Adam said to the angels, Asalam alaikum. We're gonna we're gonna analyze this step by step. Adam said, Asalam alaikum, peace be unto you. The angel said, Asalaikum wa salam rahmatullahi, peace and Allah's mercy be upon him. Thus the angels added to Adam's salutations and expressions. Any person who will enter paradise will resemble Adam in appearance and figure. People have been decreed in stature since Adam's creation. So the first thing is Adam here is 60 cubits tall, 1.4 meters. That's about 90, 90 feet. So Adam is 90 feet. Adam is talking to angels in Arabic, saying, Asalaamu Alaikum. And they're saying, and they're talking in Arabic back. Uh oh. Well, Adam, the first man on the planet, is speaking in Arab Arabic to a group of angels, and they're speaking back, and he's 90 feet tall. And everybody who enters paradise, they're gonna resemble Adam. They're gonna look like Adam. This is the this is in narrated in Abu Harari Hadith. What an Imam needs to believe in in order to be an Imam. Is this something that I should teach my children? Or should this hadith be thrown away? If uh, so, oh. if so, then that means in Islam you can pick and choose mm. what, what you want. Mm. So is this is this true, my brother, that Adam was 90 feet tall? Or did or did Harara, one of the witnesses, did he lie on the Prophet Muhammad? Which or which part of it is not true? Is the whole thing just made up? Damn, Tahuli been watching me, boy. Go ahead, man. Shout yes. out. Hey, uh, let me know when I can speak. When, let me know when I yeah, can speak. You can speak. He asked you the question. Okay, so let me say this. If you've been watching you and you've been raising issues like this, <laughs> he needs to put on sunglasses. Let yeah. me say this to you, right? <laughs> let me say this to you, right? First and foremost, um, the whole premise is off, my brother. A man doesn't have to do anything when it comes to belief, when it comes down to certain creeds. You have highlighted one hadith one tradition, you try to utilize that as a premise to state that an um, imam has to become, has to believe in that particular tradition in order for him to be a leader of a community. Beloved, honestly, with all due respect, that is foolish, brother. That, that is foolish. Begins. Beloved, that begins. beloved, let Thank me, you. I said you were foolish. I didn't say that you were foolish. I would never call you my, you my brother. I would never call you fool. I said that's that right there is foolish to think that to 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 
create a whole scenario about leadership in an Islamic community based on one particular hadith and one particular system. So you, so you have no answer. My, you have no answer. My beloved brother, you, I saw another. Let intervene. Intervene. He, he's waiting on you to answer the question. Let, let me say this to you. 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 That was a good question, brother. To answer the question, no, he doesn't have to believe in that to be a leader of the community. I'm gonna say it again. Look, Sonetta. No, he don't have to believe in that to be a leader of the community. No, I'll say it one more time. No, he doesn't have to believe in that to be a leader of the community. Just like you don't have to believe that Ra, Set, and Osiris was figurative to be a part of comedic community. You believe that they were literal. Is this your answer? Yo, I just, yo, are you serious on that? I asked it three times. Well, he, said no. you're, you're, he said no, um, three Tahuti, said, okay, he said no. Tahuti, he said no, you don't have to believe yo, in that. Say, well, hey, yo, let me say something to hey, you. Yo, let me say, a hold up, hold up, Virgil, hold, hold on. Yeah. Yo, son, hold on, this you, you gotta, you gotta let him finish because he's still dealing hold with on. the same thing. Yeah. This raises a huge problem because this is a narrative from a particular oh. person. This is hold on a second. This is a narrative from one of the one of the hadiths mm. uh, witnesses that people read that the imam reads other parts of Harari, other parts of Sidi Bakari. So hey, some yo, of the who witnesses, was Imam Bakari? Hold up, you saying you speaking like uh, no. my Virgil, Virgil, Virgil you, like, you going Imam right Bukhari? after him? You going right after this question? Hey, yo, I'm never going to get a chance because yes, you, you are. No, no, you keep it's interrupting. He's still, hold, no, it's not. If being that you said no, he's proving something to you right now about what you're saying no to. Who Imam Bukhari, you got to let him go, brother. And then you're going right after this. Trust me, you going. Like, okay, on, listen, brother. listen, everybody, listen, everybody. <laughs> these these witnesses that are re that are writing the hadiths these are the witnesses that all imams believe in they don't they don't discard all of the writings of harari all of the writings of all of the hadith writers they they take them as a point in fact if they don't then are they saying that the same people that they take as a point in fact make up these crazy stories but they're going to read a chapter 3 but they're not going to read uh, number one fifty three yeah, or two forty five. They're going to read only some of some. Relax, Harari Virgil, was, relax, or, relax. Harari relax. was right. For, the, the, the hadith are right when they tell me to pray five times a day, but yeah. they're not right when they say um, Adam was ninety feet tall. The hadith are right when they oh. tell me to use vicar beads, but they're not right to say that when they say the same writer too, the same hadith writer, not right to say that Adam was speaking Arabic to the to the angels. So so as a Muslim. I got to take bits and pieces mm. of, the, of the hadiths. This is what I got. All right. Do. See, that's the point that he was making. All right. Um, Tahuni, we got to let my man Virgil get in. He he, he can't hold it, man. <laughs> let the brother go. Virgil, <laughs> okay. you got the floor, brother. All right, my brothers. Let me say this to you, right? First and foremost, beloved man, you have to study your debate when it comes down to Islam more. It's, it's stronger arguments you can come with that is that's more stronger than this that that can raise an eye or create doubt. Stronger arguments. This argument right here is very weak. At home. Um, you have to study about Imam Bukhari. You have to study about when he compiled his tradition. Um, you have to study about the science of Hadith. If you realize that, if you understand about the science of hadith, you realize that there were many weak hadiths, many hadiths that are that were fake, that were were not right. Did they pick and choose hadiths? Which one would be right or wrong? They had to, in order to what ascertain that which made sense and what didn't make sense. Now, hey, you. I'm gonna let you go. I, I just want to say. Do you see the discipline when it comes to us, the comedic brothers? You don't see the brother I cutting better, you, you off. Be, you I just want you to right? see that. You see you to those neutral, who have them right? Abrahamic faith. Y'all got to get. Y'all got to pray hey, for hey, a hey, discipline, hey, brother. Hey, 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 but go ahead, go ahead. You I, got I the floor. Discipline. I ain't disrespect this. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. I disrespect this brother at all. You know I got love. No, I'm talking about kept cutting him off. But look at him. Cut See how patient he is. Are you serious? Why? I'm gonna give you five, <laughs> I'm gonna give you five seconds. Why you cut me? In. What are you talking about? Get out. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, bro. Gotta listen to me. Listen to me. Honestly, honestly, um, when it comes down to interpretation of religious texts, and I'm gonna call your Egyptian book of the dead, your pyramid texts, and all the other texts that come out of Egypt that tells you about Dean, tells you about religion, tells you about how you live. These are religious texts to me. Oh. You, may disagree, oh. you, may, you may disagree with me, but I'm telling you now that you interpret them in a manner in which you interpret them. That's why you have issues with different individuals that believe in the same concepts and tenets that you believe in because you interpret them differently. You have that freedom. So don't practice something and then enjoy and force another person to do the opposite. Don't practice interpreting the way that you want to interpret it. Take what you want see it the way that you want to see it, this, that, and the third, and then turn over here and say, no, you got to see it just like this. You got to believe just like this. You got to believe all of this. Yes, you believe in the book of the dead. You believe in this. You believe in that. All the ancient tenets that come out of Egypt, all the ancient scrolls, all the ancient writings, but you know something? You interpret them differently. You interpret them different. And interpretation means that you what? You act upon them differently. So it's interesting, man. You know what I'm saying? When we're dealing with sources in this world, in this day and time, I know that we live in, I keep saying that we live in 2020, 2023. I believe that we will interpret it. We have to interpret it. We have to draw that in which applies to us out of the religious scripts that we have, be it from Egypt, be it from Christianity, be it from Israelite, be it from the Bible, be it from the Quran, be it from the Book of the Dead. You have to interpret it in a manner in which it applies to you. It's no question about it. If you don't, you can't interpret it in a way that applied to them back then. Because you're living now. You cannot prove that what you have is the truth. You can't prove it. You cannot prove it. You cannot prove that Ra and all these individuals that came, that you speak of in that sense, were literal. You can't prove it, but you know something? about the human mind, you can believe it. You sitting there, you believe it. What's working for you, beloved? What's working for you? I see it's working for you, your interpretation. However, don't force it on me because I'm not going to force my, I'm not going to force mine on you. You know I'm not going to force mine on you. But we have to come together in a collective, no matter what we believe in. We have to one day be able to com communicate and bring about the what? The unified change that's needed within our community, period. Now, the religious mind, you could debate it all day long. It ain't going to change. I'm not going to never bring you out of my eye. I'm never going to do it. <laughs> However, I still need you to help me in feeding these people that need food, clothing, and shelter. I need you for that. All right? I need you for that. All right? I don't need you to be telling me about my heart and everything and telling me what I need. I need you to help me with this. I need you to give me a couple of dollars so I can do this. So, <laughs> my Acknowledge brother, that so finger. Good. He got the finger up for you, man. Yeah, I know. I know you got the finger up for Acknowledge me. it. He ain't cutting you off. He got it Come up. On, my beloved brother. Come on, brother. Uh, you know, my you're my homie. Come on in here and speak. You ain't got to speak. I, I, you can <laughs> speak. Speak, brother. Speak. Speak. I don't change. Okay, speak. okay, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, so 
Okay, so we've gotten past we gotten past that. Okay, so as far as building a community, as far as yeah. building a community and un unifying, right? Yes. Um, right? And when we get together and build this community, yeah, and certain people are believing in this Islamic doctrine, Hebrew doctrine. Everybody's mm -hmm. saying everybody's a pagan. Everybody yeah, saying everybody is, is, is don't leave my out there. And, uh, I'll wait till you're done. I'm done. Okay. So now here's the here is the, the the here's an issue right here. Here's an issue right here. In order to be, and I have to pinpoint you, brother, because I'm not talking to any other Muslim, in order to be the type of Muslim and represent in the mosque that you go to with that Imam, he believes and the Muslims believe in the Sahih Bukhari hadith. Yes or no? Do they teach from the Sahih Bukhari hadith in that mosque at all? Yes or no? The Sahih yes. Bukhari had. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Okay, wonderful. So I will do one more screen share. Let me screen oh, share here. Oh. Because I want to know something that's very, very important. That up, man. <laughs> this is very, very important, and this deals with, with women. And I find that Finish in religious, in, re <laughs> in religious <laughs> organizations, women are subjected in every one of them. So now, the Sahih Bukhari Hadith is taught inside of your mosque. There is a woman who gets um, raped, who gets attacked. She gets attacked by two men. She tells people the attack and brings it to court, to Islamic court. Here's the problem. Sahih Bukhari Hadith that your teacher teaches from, that your mosque believes in. Sahih Bukhari Hadith, three. 826. Muhammad said, some women, isn't the witness of a woman equal to half of that of a man? The mm. woman said, yes. He said, this is because the deficiency of a woman's mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree let's, with let's, that. Let's, let's, um, I have not, I have not, I am not finished. I guess I I'm going to put it back up that. again and read it again. Muhammad. You keep at me with Hadith. I don't agree with them. I don't, wanna, I don't no, agree the with them. The Sahih Bukhari Hadith. Relax, Virgil. Relax, brother. The Sahih Bukhari Hadith that is believed in and read in the mosque that you attend, that if I was to follow this, I would bring my children to that mosque, my daughter. I have daughters, and I want to know the right way. And I believe the right way is going to the mosque that you're a part of because Islam is the right way where they where they teach from this particular book. This book is the Sahih Bukhari Hadith, which we verified that is taught inside of the Islamic mosque that you attend. Well, my daughter is reading this and she says, Daddy, Muhammad said that isn't the witness, the witness of a woman equal to half of that of a man? The woman said, yes. He said, this is because of the deficiency of the woman's mind let me come off the screen now mm -hmm. so a witness mm. I where are witnesses you? I dis let what me say something to you beloved where, I where, 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 i'm not i'm not i'm not even finished though i'm not Father, you know, you're you, you, you give us, give us, you, you giving a give question, a, give a, question give a, I, I just read a hadith i never even spoke yet I just read a hadith. I'm not even anywhere right. near the question. Right, come on. I'm listening. We can do two minutes. If Sinai needs to put up two minutes for us for decorum, that's fine with me. If he needs to put up two minutes, I think, I you, I think you need to do that. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Sinai. Two minutes. I think you need so, to do that. Absolutely. And you can't speak for two minutes. So, And I can't speak for two minutes. So, <laughs> All right. The woman, go ahead. I'm going to give y'all three minutes. Go ahead. It's good. um 36. Go ahead. Y'all can look okay. on your computer and see the time. Okay, good. So the three minutes. So the witness of a woman is only half of that of a man because all women's minds are deficient. The mind of a woman is deficient. So therefore her witness that she sees with her eyes is not to be trusted. It's only half of that of a man. So if mm. she gets raped, she needs another woman with her Damn. to get raped with her so that the two women together could equal the witness of the one man. Because if one woman gets raped by one man, even if she proves everything by witness, her witness is only half of that of the man. So if she gets gang raped, she never wins. If she gets raped by one man, she never wins because in court, the witness or wherever this witness is needed is only half of that of the man. So as the woman is pleading, I got raped and I'm a witness. I have proof. I saw this. I was there. I did this. The people would say, no, your mind is deficient. Let's raise our daughters together. Damn.
All right, Virgil, he ain't even used his time. It's um, 37 minutes. You can look at your time, Virgil, right on your computer. You got the floor, brother. All right, now let me say this to you, right, beloved? Beloved, you come from a tradition where homosexuality is prevalent in your creation story. Uh oh. You know that. You know, amongst your gods, homosexuality is prevalent. Your gods are depicted as doing anal sex with each other, cutting off each other penises, and doing all types of stuff with lettuce. <laughs> are you serious, my brother? <laughs> Let me say something. Let me say, I don't, I don't turn like, it up now, I don't, boy. I don't like to do this. I don't like oh. to do this. I don't like to do this. I don't like to do this, but I will if you if you push me. What I'm saying to you, I'm not a debater. However, I'm just letting you know that your doctrine, just like all other doctrines, have flaws. That's why in 2023, you have to do the dishes and take the good and leave the bad. You have deities whom you deify, that whom you call yourself after Ra and Set and, and Horus who committed homosexual acts toward each other. And you mean it? No, no, son, no, just chill out. Stay no, no, I'm just saying. Stay, stay planted, stay planted. Yeah. Let, let me say something to you, beloved. I'm not into debate. I'm into relate. Uh-oh. I'm into relate. I'm not into debate. Any man that get on any stage and say that he has the total truth, he's a fool. He need to re-evaluate his position and tenets of his belief because of the simple fact, if you look at any of them, you're going to find flaws. I'm going to always respond the way that I'm responding now to you. You know why? Because it's 10 toes down and 10 toes strong. You can't stand on sand. You can't stand on sand and act like you're standing on concrete. It doesn't work. I, I, that's why I'm. That's why I try to be humble in this approach. I teach. My time is not up yet. I know how to use it wisely. No, no. I know. Got time. I, listen. Let me say something. To you. Let me say something to you. Let me say something to you. It's about teaching. I'm a moderator. I'm not a debater at this stage in my life. I'm a moderator. However, beloved, when you're throwing bricks. At a glass house, if you're throwing bricks and you're living in a glass house, that's unwise. Be wise in the things that you say. All right, be, that's time for be you. wise. Three minutes. Three minutes. Yes, that was time. That's that's three minutes. He that's got three minutes. minutes yes, it's three minutes. You dig what I'm saying? But what I'm saying, just be wise in what you say, because the simple fact your doctrine has to be interpreted. If it doesn't be interpreted. Y'all be looking crazy out here. All right. Hey, Virgil, you, you should have stayed where you was at on Kimmet. You was you was doing good, brother. <laughs> you should have stayed there, brother. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, throw, yeah. you gotta throw bricks, bro. Yeah, I don't wanna <laughs> no, no, brother. We're, hey, 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 we're not is, easily Tahuti. offended like that, bro. Hey, yo, yo, That's all I want to let hey, you know, bro. Tahuti and my brother Sarnetta. That ain't me. That ain't that no, ain't but if you own. speak in truth, then speak your truth, brother. Yeah, I did. I did. Brother, I I'm did. telling you, people is gonna go at your guard, go at your head. You gotta be able to fight back. We that. ain't with that but soft stuff, stuff, brother. But they this not, is the not, this is the toughest environment to not, be in, bro. But but but, but Sarnetta, Sarnetta. Nobody gonna get mad at it's you. Not, we love you. Not, you are it's not, it's not, it's not, that's not my intent. You know my intent. I said I want to have a discussion. I don't want to debate, I right? Because I believe that we look like fools when we do that because we both standing on things that has. Yeah, but you can't come into the HOK tiptoeing through no damn tulips, though, brother. I, you know I ain't doing. You're that, looking nigga. like olive oil right now, you know, brother. Nigga, nigga, you looking like <laughs> you looking so, like. Okay, so let me bring in Tahuti. Tahuti, okay, go so, ahead, brother. You see the time is um eight forty. Hey, son, that I gotta get out of here. Still too. talking. Okay, all right. Hey, after this, we're gonna open up the floor real quick and let a couple of but you know, this questions. Thing, but think about this, man. I gotta raise Are we still, up. Is he still you. talking? Still no, going? Hold on, hold on. Still Sarnetta, going. give me this. This is still this, going. This. Hey, 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 Tony, just lower your wing to your brother. Let's just, no, let me because say you couldn't even keep the time limits. Next, next person. Uh, let him go. Let him go. Um, go ahead, Tahuti. 
All right, go ahead and time me. Okay, so we're on to the second thing. So in order to 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 uh, to enter this mosque, we have to believe that <laughs> Adam was ninety feet tall. That a woman's mind is deficient, and therefore, in, in a witness in court or wherever the crime is committed, she cannot um, defend herself against one man because her witness is only worth half of a man. Okay, so this is how we should raise our society. Um, how about medicine? Let me go ahead and do a screen share, and we're going to go ahead and get into um some Islamic um, medicine um, recipes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into some Islamic medicine uh, recipes. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're into, again, the same hadith here. Muhammad said, if a housefly falls in the drink of any one of you, you should dip it in the drink, for one wing has the disease and the other wing has the cure of the disease. <laughs> okay, and remember, remember, uh, um, Prophet was told that a person had kept on sleeping until the morning and had not gotten up for prayer, and that's because Satan urinated in his ears. Okay. All right, wonderful. So um, if a fly falls in your drink, son, Edder, when you're out at a picnic, catch it, make sure you catch it, and dip the other wing back in the drink because the other wing cures whatever the filth was when he was on the poo-poo eating and on mm. the carcass. Dip the other wing in because that will cure the disease that the one wing brought. So our women are deficient in, our, in their brain. Their brain is only worth half of that of a man. So if they get raped, they never win in court because they can only get double raped. And even if they get double raped, the two women are only one man. Adam is 90 feet tall. And if a fly falls in your drink, make sure you dip the other wing in because the other wing has the cure. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. And this is how we build um, a nation. Because in order to be an imam, the leader of this particular religion, we have to believe in the hadith, particularly the Sahih Bukhari hadith that's, that's, um, that's taught. And I'm only going this route because of the questions that were, that were asked to me. So now if a question was asked, what do I actually teach from Ma'at, I will go into that route. But once the questions are asked and goes in this direction, I have to now tear apart Islam. I didn't come here to, I told I told Morpheus and others, I didn't come here to attack Islam or to, to really tear it apart, but it's going in that direction because now the brother's making, so I'm making claims that are in the hadith that his teacher reads from. Facts, factual chapter and verse. He's making claims that in our comedic creation story, there's homosexuality. What is the cash app? We will see if he can pull out a comedic creation story with homosexuality. Mm. Go ahead and put that on the screen, my brother, and I will actually give you my time, some of my time, to pull up on the screen a comedic creation story with filled with homosexuality or with homosexuality. What's the name of that creation story? Is it creation A, creation B? Is it the creation of Nebuchadnezzar? Is it the creation of Kepara? Is it the creation of Kanum? Which creation story? Has homosexuality in it, my brother. Chapter and verse, please. Thank you. Beloved, um, first and foremost, um, that particular instance probably wasn't in the creation stories, but it's in your text. Clearly, it's in your text, and you know it's in your text. It's probably not a creation story, so you're hanging on that but it's in your text. Homosexuality is in your text pertaining to a set and set. Set and Horus. You know it. So let us not play games with that. Second of all, as I said earlier, my beloved brothers, I didn't I don't, I'm not into defending religion. I'm not into defending Islam. I'm not into defending anything. What I do is use teachings to better my situation and myself. Um, you know for a fact that what you believe in has flaws. There are things that are, is, that are in Islam that has flaws, that raises the eyebrow. Does that take away the truthness? Does that take away that in which helps us to vibe and to grow and to help our community and influence our community? 
good? No, it doesn't. You leave that which is bad and accept that which is good. I'm not in time. I'm not. A, I'm not in. I'm not trying to win an argument with you. Everyone does that. I'm trying to build with you. Conversations in the manner in which that you're having them, we can never build together, because you're stuck on trying to dismantle tenets that you believe that I believe in. You believe that I believe in the Hadith 100%. You believe that I believe in certain retins 100%. But you don't even know my tenets. You are just safely assuming. I'm telling you, you have to grow mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and economically to the point where you can set to the side. That thing right there, then you can think about the community as a whole. I believe my mindset, how did I look? How I look at things in this world? I look at it from a perspective that none of us have the total truth. I look at it as all of us, are. we have to do the dishes. We have to dish out that which is foolishness within our belief systems and use that which is good to help us all. If you continue down the line of believing that you have it all, you're going to always have problems and you're going to have a harder time coming together with your people and helping them. Because know why? You won't have the ability to understand them. I'm telling you that, you know, this stuff was left to us, man. We didn't write this stuff. This stuff is left to us. So you know what? I can't judge you by way of it. The only thing that I could judge you by is the things that you practice within it that would harm me. If you practice something in Egyptology that will harm me, then I can judge you and say, Tahuti, that right there is bad. That's a, a version. I got to get me a... um. A sound bite that plays the violin, cause that should be fire right now. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga, you, you have to. With you up you there talking, to, you know, I you know, need to get that violin, bro. You know why? You know why? You know why you gotta get it? You know, you know why? You know, you know why you gotta get it? You know why you gotta get it? Wow. You know why? You gotta get it? Well, like five you know minutes, by the way. Because you know it's true. Yeah. I think you that'll go just will, right you with never, you, brother. You will never, you will never <laughs> attain, you will never attain righteousness amongst your community. You will never bring your community together under one religious banner. It will okay, never all right. We got to bring in the, uh, the people are here. Um, I want to ask the first question, uh, brother, brother version, and then oh, we got Muslims in the building. Okay, I want to ask you the first question, brother. When Tahuti asks you, do your leader have to believe in certain hadiths? Your answer was yes. When he asks you, do you believe, do we have to believe in this or that in order to be an imam? And he named the hadith. You said yes. He read the hadith that you, that you said yes to. And then when he starts showing you the, the stuff that's in the book, you started saying, nah, nah, brother, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. It reminds me of the Hebrew Israelites. You see what I'm saying? One minute they believe in the Old Testament, then the New Testament, and then they picking and choosing. Are you saying that amongst your group, y'all can pick and choose which one you want or which one sound good? Or do you pose to believe in all of the book, all of the books of of the Quran tells you believe in all of the books. So do you pose to believe in all of the books or some of what's in the book? All right, so now let me answer that, Sarnetta. Let me say this to you. In life, after what we have been through. Oh shit, let me get my violin. Yo, 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 I gotta on, get this on, on, violin on, for on, real, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In life, and what we have been through when it comes down to literature and, the, and that in which made up the literature that we have now, you better pick and choose what you believe in. 
because of the simple <laughs> fact if you if you don't pick and choose what you believe in, if you don't pick and choose what you believe in, then you may be believing what someone has programmed you to believe. You better, you better, you better pick and choose what resonates with you because of the simple fact. If you just believe what another nigga's beating you in the head with, and that's it, then you what may the have fuck? a problem. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. So let's go on. Let's get it on. I want to get bring on the first brother that came in here. Brother say cool. Do you have a question for either of the brothers? <laughs> yes, I have. If I have like five questions, but I will take one at a time. Yes. So, yeah. so we'll let you uh, ask two. You know. We'll let you ask two, and then we're gonna go around because we got other brothers. Then I'm gonna come back to you like that. Go ahead. Right. Right. Peace and blessing, Tahuti. You did a good job. Peace, to brother. I don't know, Vecho. I can't pronounce your name well. Yes. First of all, my first question to you because Peace. um, you know, in Islamic studies, when you meet uh, a Muslim, before you ask him question, you have to you have to first of all ask him what fiqh does it belong to. That is what school of thought in Islamic jurisprudence, because you do not create doctrine in Islam by yourself. Doctrines are created based on Sharia. So first of all, if you are a Sunni, that means you belong to the to the four Imam, Imam Hanbali, Imam Malik, Imam Bukhari, and four of those Imams. If you belong to the Shia, then we know what type of Imams you follow. So you have to establish what school of thought and Sharia you follow, then before you answer a question. Because in Islam, you don't just get up and be answering stuff because you read the Quran. It's based on Tafsir, it's based right. on Sunnah, it's based on what the consensus of the scholars. So what school of thought are you coming from? Mm. Mm. What school of thought do I follow? Yes, I follow the I follow the Quran and the Sunnah. I follow the Quran and the Sunnah. <laughs> no, you are not. You, you you do you have do you understand what fiqh is in Islam? Fiqh. Yeah, fiqh is understanding. That's what that means. <laughs> fiqh means understanding. That's what that okay. word means. Do you so what I'm saying you to you? What I'm saying, what I'm what I'm saying, my brother, my brother say cool. If you ask me a question, right, and you have a preconceived notion, then you should you should you should be just and just accept my answer. Yeah, because to uh, to to accept your answer, I need the criteria. Because for example, when you start with Surah Al Baqarah at the beginning, when you say Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Alif Lam Mim. If I ask you what does the Alif La Mim mean, mean, can you tell me? No. Why? Because it's, it's unknown to me. Very good. Because you are not an authority. No, not, not because I'm not an authority. You see? I believe that no one knows Alif. I don't believe, believe I believe that no. See, what, see, this conversation is leading into you. I'll be right back, sir. See this this conversation, no, this conversation, I, I, this conversation, hold up, this conversation is leading to you explaining to me my religion. What I'm trying to no, tell you I'm, is this. What I'm trying to tell you is this. I don't have the meaning. I don't know the meaning. And I believe that no one does. Okay. And then I will jump because the reason why I don't want to ask you an unfair question, because when you came on here, you mentioned different denominations that you went through, you even mentioned yes. the Sufism. So I wanted to know what school of thought you are coming from so that I will ask you the appropriate question. Because if I could at this ask stage, you a question- At this I'm stage, brother, stay school. School. Let at him finish, stage. Virgil. You gotta yeah. let him finish, brother. This is the question and answer period. Yeah, because I don't want to ask you an unfair question, but since you don't want to answer that, then I'll go to the next question. Are you familiar with the work of Ibn Arabi, al Wudud al-Wadad? No, I heard of Ibn Arabi, but I haven't I haven't read that, that particular work of his. I heard of him though. Okay, if you have if you were he Sufi, was a Sufi though. You, he was if you Sufi. Were Sufi. Yeah, you you are uh, you mentioned in the beginning that you did practice on Sufism, right? Yeah, some tasawwuf for a short period. Yeah, I, so I there's no it. way there's no way you practice Sufism and you don't know Ibn Arabi because he's the founder. I told you I've heard of his writings, but I don't I haven't I haven't okay. read cover to cover his now, book. 
since you've not read it, I will give you a little tip. Ibn Arabi wrote a book called Wudu al Wada, The Unity of Being, where he explained that reality is the totality of all that exists. That means everything that exists constitutes divine. The tree, the water, and human being, everything constitutes the divine. Many Muslims reject his idea, but his idea still stands. And I wanted to ask you, how is that different from Kemet? But since you say you have not read it, then there's no way you can answer it. So, sir, are, you are, are, are you a commission? Are you a Do you 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 do you practice the the, the teachings of Kemet? All right, well, Virgil, he's you. asking the question, brother. I'm, I'm asking, asking you. The you're answering the question. Oh, you're not answering. Oh, he's not. He's not answering the question. No, no, he's asking questions. This is a question and answer period. So you're the one answering the question. Okay, go ahead. All right, say cool. Yeah, that's two yeah, questions said, you got. Yeah, that's it. He can go. He said right. he has not read. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Say cool. Let me get on over here to brother live. We got another Muslim. Salam alaikum, brother live. You are on the call, brother. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Say cool. Peace. Peace and blessings to everybody else on the planet on the panel, brother. Say cool. I just wanted to say to you in regards to what you were speaking about and Sufism. You know that you were speaking about some with an esoteric knowledge. That's right. But if the brother wasn't inclined in regards to that, why would you ask a question like that? You just dig and say, cool, stop digging. <laughs> stop doing that. I wanted to say to Virgil, Salam, Aki, now that I recognize the face, like you probably, about. if you see me a little clear, you can recognize her face. I remember you from BK, man. Four okay. Green. That's right. That's right. Stand mm, up. Yeah. Stand yeah. up. <laughs> or green, God rest the dead, Spanish fly. Okay, my man, okay. man Noni. I met you through my man Scott right there in front of 60. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, salam, right. Marquis, salam. Long time, brother. Long time, oh, mashallah, mashallah. We're back to the pan we hand. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Here you go, Sarnetta. It's Sarnetta, it's Sarnetta, man. I'm gonna teach you how to moderate and be neutral. I am neutral. I'm not. No, you got no, no, no. You no, gotta be. No, 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 hold, on. hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. I'm gonna teach you how to be neutral. Honestly, okay. honestly, I got you. I got you're you. Not, you're, you are commissioned. You, 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 you practice the comedic school of thought, and individuals that's on the stage, you lean toward them when it comes to that. No, Let sir. No, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on for a minute. So, honestly, you have to be neutral. Yes. Yes. Got to be neutral. When I'm on stages, I could be on stages with anybody, Hebrews, Christians. I am not down with nobody. I got I don't, you. I don't I push you. them. I don't do none of that with them. I don't do anything to promote that they're winning or losing. I just ask questions. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let oh, go ahead. Brother Live finish. Basically, the question I had was this. Through the whole debate, between you and the brother, I was hearing you guys talk. And it seems like more so, the brother was striving more so pushing towards just the Hadith and the Sunnah. Yes. The questions and the basis of the question was basically based on, if you studying under a Imam, you have to follow through with the Hadith and the Sunnah. If you don't, as a practicing Muslim, mm -hmm. everything that would be recognized out of your mouth would be Kufa, and shake. Mm -hmm. That being the case, mm -hmm. do you want to definitively leave that in the hands of a brother to worry about that on the day of Yama Kiyama? Mm. Or do you want to debate that online speaking about Islam? If you're going to keep it in the realm of a debate, hold on, Aki. Hold on, because I see you about to go in. If you want to keep it in the realm of a debate, you have to keep the decorum between him asking you a question and you responding back. Mm -hmm. Just keeping an even playing field. Yes. Sonetta, what I was expressing and what I'm going to express to you is this. Sonetta, you was throwing a little jabs there too. You was doing it a little bit, as you always do. You throw a little jab in from time to time, brother. But that being verse, if you were just basing it on the conversation on the hadith on Islam, 
I think the conversation could have went a little di bit differently. But some of the things that you were saying will be recognized as Kufa and Sheikh Aki. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just telling you for what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me say this to you, beloved. See, That's the okay. thing is, see, the thing is this, see, when you're dealing with Hadith science, and you're dealing with the usul of Hadith, how Hadith came into... Let's not call it science. Let's not let call me, it science. Let me, let me, let, let me finish, Sheikh. Let me finish. When you're dealing with the understanding of Hadith and how they were compiled three, four hundred years after the prophet, and you start dealing with Imam Bukhari, the book that this individual is saying that individuals have to believe in, you will realize that there are things that are in these books that are somewhat contrary that have you thinking in different matters that are maybe questionable. So you have to be careful just like with anything on the planet, that's this is my premise of the whole conversation. This, this is not a debate. I didn't come to debate. My premise in this conversation is based on just, you have to study what is before you in this day and time, 2023. You have to take the meat and spit out the bones. Everything that is presented to us right now could be questionable. You have to seep it. You can never let a man tell you that this right here is the total truth. No matter what religion you come from, Egyptology, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, whatever, you have to study and seek the truth for self. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Why not? Don't do that, son. Let me tell you something about being neutral. Let me tell you something about being neutral. But everything that I'm saying to you, he will repeat this one day. He will repeat this. Because know why? It's true. It's true. He's going to repeat it. He's going to repeat Aki, what it. Basically, it Aki, what it basically boils down to is this. <laughs> you and a brother came on here for steel to sharpen steel. To have a dialogue. That's it, to have a dialogue. But it escalated more so to a debate where one jab was thrown in regards to you speaking about in regards for- Purge is just getting hours. his feet wet, that's all. When he get in, y'all gotta see how he get it in on, on, um, on um, Clubhouse. <laughs> He's just getting his feet wet. Watch the next time he come up in here. That's all well, it is. I, I'm not going to debate this. So you gonna, did I good. Would, you just need to learn a little discipline. That's son, it. You'll I would be all right. For you, son, I would rather for you to bring me to the stage and moderate and be on that level like there, asking interesting questions to the stage members, provoking conversation and discussion. I'm not into debate like that because I know that all of his floors. Don't worry about it. You'll get here. You'll get to it like that soon. Um, let me sure, go to Morpheus. Sure, Morpheus bro. in the building. What's up, Morpheus? Looking like a full blown Muslim. Yes, feels good. Morpheus looking like a full blown Muslim right now. What's up, brother? Well, brother Morpheus, how you feeling today, beloved? Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. All right. Uh, this was a good, good. This was a, a good discussion between the brothers. I thought it was great. Um, I think there's some prop, some major problems, right, in the discussion. One of the major problems in the discussion is that we have uh, 1,490 people watching, right? Out of these 1,490 people watching, how many of them know what Islam is? Mm. How, many, how many of the because we're talking over a lot of people's heads, right? Because these two brothers are familiar with Islam on a certain level, but the majority of people don't know what's going on, right? So I just want to bring it back a little bit, if I can. Can I do that? Yes, go ahead, brother. All right, so for starting, we started uh, at one part of the conversation was talking about hadith and hadith. So you know what hadith is. My brother Virgil know what hadith is. La know what hadith is. Shaku know what hadith. So let's slow it down. What is exactly hadith? What are we talking about? Right? We know the word hadith comes from the Arabic word hadatha, right? It means stories, right? It means stories and tells to explain something. That's what hadith is. But here's what's really interesting. Can I share my screen for a minute, y'all? 
Share it, brother. Okay, I never shared my screen before, so let me see if I can do this. Uh, how do I share screen? What do I do, so What do I do? Press what? Go to present, open up what you want to share, press present, and then oh. click Windows. You'll see it inside of Windows. Click on your um, I, I presentation. Click, I slide. Do I go to slides or do I go to share screen? Share screen. Share screen. Okay, cool. Oh, got you. Boom. Now right. click Windows, and then you'll see your presentation inside that box. And there it go right there. Okay, you see this? Yeah. Hold up, baby. Let me call my girl. Call it right back. All right. This is Gordon right here, right? Brother Virgil, this is Gordon. So how can I make this bigger, so for people to see? Now, I don't know that. They know how to do that. Uh, how can I make this bigger? Let's see if I zoom in. Yeah, there we How about that? That's getting bigger? No. Okay, how do I make it bigger? Anyway, what I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to show people on this screen, right here in this server, 3923, right? Oh, man, I got, make, I got my glasses. <laughs> okay, right here. Uh, this word, this is in the Quran, right? Or where we talk, where it talks, uh, speaks of hadith. Allah sent down, down the best hadith, right? I, damn, I, I need to make this big. I should have brought my glasses. Oh my God, where's my glasses at? Uh, Virgil, are you familiar with this? It's a wrong page, Aki. Wrong page. Yes, uh, you talking about? You talking about what? What? What verse you talking about? You want me to get it for you, beloved? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this here. I'm, I'm dealing with hadith, right? In the server 39. Uh, where's the where my page go? Where did where everything go? Thirty nine. What verse? Uh, right here. Is this? Is it? No, that's not it. Damn, I gotta learn what, how to. Do which damn. verse you talking about? Thirty nine. What? Twenty three. Okay, it says thirty nine. Twenty three. It says. It says. Uh, it says. It says. Is that it right there? It says Allahu Nazala Ahsan al Hadithi. Bingo. Stop right there. So what yes. is that? What does that say? It says Allah said, it says Allah has revealed from time to time the most beautiful message, but the word is hadith. Thank the you. most beautiful hadith in the form of a book consistent with itself. Okay, yes. so, so, so is the Quran hadith? Yes. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. Right. So we understand because a lot of people say, I don't follow Quran. I don't, I mean, I don't follow hadith. I just follow Quran. Now, from second, <laughs> we understand. Hold on, brother. What are you talking about? The Quran is hadith. God damn, you just killed him. You <laughs> killed your brother right there, bro. No, no, no. This is oh, easy. my God, man. So the Quran <laughs> but that, that, that the Quran itself is hadith, right? Mm. And, and I'm just trying to slow it down for the people um, um, who don't understand, or, or rather, who's not very, you know what I mean? Familiar with Islam, so that's why I said, "Damn, I wish I was on this conversation." So Tahuti, that, did you grab that surah? You need to put that in your joint, bro. And, did and, you grab and, that surah? Yeah, from that. You knew that from 1995. Keep going. Okay. Murphy's kind of came from the same school. So, so when we deal with elementary <laughs> right there, son, that, that's very uh, elementary uh, right there. Uh, elementary. Uh, how, how <laughs> I, I figure how I get back to where we at because I'm kind of lost on this. I never shared before in this song, so please bear with me. Um, so we understand <laughs> that the so now we can we can verify that the Quran itself is a hadith. Okay, so we kill that whole thing about it's a something different, blah blah blah. No, the Quran itself is hadith because how hadith, hadith is dealing with who told the story, it was narrated by this person who narrated who's who trans who transmitted from this person, and blah blah blah, which is the same thing you find with Quran. You find the Quran was you know, Quran was pattern like the Quran we have today is known as the Hafs Quran, it's known as Hafs. So every that's a, that opens up a whole other door. But the other part I want to get to entirely through, different whole other door, yeah, brother. Let's get to this. Uh, uh, my brother, you said um, when y'all was having a conversation about the spirit and all that yes, stuff, man. right? You had a conversation about spirit. Am I am I correct in that? Y uh, yes, that's how that's how this started. Yes, Morpheus. Okay. Now in Quran, here I will show you what it says. Here, can you see this? Yes, we see it. Can you read this for me here, Brother Virgil? Uh, Brother Virgil? It says, you say right here? Yes, yes, my brother. 
It says, Allah who nazala ahsana hadithi kitaban. No, we passed hadith. No, we're not in hadith. We are on uh, uh, what screen? Do, how do I share the next screen? Yeah, that's the screen uh, that you are. All right, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get to the next one. The next one I'm trying to get to is 1785, Virgil. Right, uh, how do I get to, how do I share? How do I get to, I don't know how to do 1785, I got you, don't worry, I got you right here, beloved. 1785. 1785, yes. I got you, beloved. So, so you go, so are we speaking about Sahaba or are you talking about Dua, Aki? No, we're talking about Quran. We're talking about the spirit. We're referring to spirit. Sahaba, Sahaba. Right. No, no, go down. You're talking, about ruah. You're talking about the rule. Yeah, yeah. What does it say? They ask you, prophet, about the spirit. Yes. The nature is no. I'm sorry, go ahead. The nature is only known to my Lord. And 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 you or many have been given little knowledge about spirit. So in Islam, right, according to Quran here, right, yes. it don't give you no knowledge about spirit. Mm -hmm. None. Very little. Well, right, no, it says there is. Listen, there was little knowledge about spirit. So in Islam, it makes no point to even talk about spirit, none at all. What the spirit is, what is some Because in Quran, once again, it show. I wish I could share the screen so the people can see. I can find out how to do this. That there is no knowledge given about spirit, none. Mm -hmm. Would you agree to that, Virgil? Yes, it's very little. You know, it's clear what the Quran says right there. It's clear. Very okay. little knowledge is given of it. But you okay, know, so Morpheus, now. you know that brother, you know that brother was going into how Egypt defined the spirit, how they defined the spirit, and he went into how the writings defined the spirit and how it depicted the spirit. No, yeah, but Virgil, yeah, no, I get that point. I get his uh, point because in because because in his paradigm philosophy, it talks about spirit. I'm just saying, yes. if, for a Muslim to have a, con a conversation about spirit is nonsensical yes. because in Islam, yes. according to the Quran, it don't give you no knowledge about spirit. Yes. You'll, the, you'll be delving. You'll be delving into a gray area. Right. So it's like leave that yes. alone. You'll be. You'll be delving. As a Muslim, I can't have a spirit conversation with into a gray area. Okay, so now let's go to the next one. So dealing with hadith, ladies and gentlemen, hadith comes in four categories. <laughs> one of them, the first one is sahih, right? The second one is hasan. The third one is ta'if. And the other one, last one is mauda. What are they? These are the classifications of hadith. Sahih, right? right? Sahih means it is authentic. So I, it is according to according to Islamic world, Islamic scholars, Sahih is considered as authentic. That's number yes. one. That's the top tier. The next yes. one after that is Hassan, which means it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. You can go by because it it's good. Then you have the third category, which is called Da'if. Da'if means strange. Some people translate it as, well, it's kind of weak, mm -hmm. but Da'if means strange. Then we have Mauda, which means it's fabricated. Okay, it's fabricated. So those are the four classifications of Hadith that the Islamic world are using or go by when reading Hadiths. There's like, is it Sahih? Is it Hassan? Right? Is it Da'if? Is it, is it Mauda? Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Let me come back to you and let me go on. Um, let me get to... Uh... Let me get to the brother Wiseman, and then I see we got a sister up in here, a Muslim sister. Wiseman, let's go, and hey, we're going to go to the up, sister. Cut the camera on, brother. Camera's gone. Yeah, I know. I'm driving, so I don't want to be uh, we need to push, no sir, 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 we needed to push back on the definition of Hadith he gave. And of okay, there. We we'll come back to you. We'll get back to you, say cool. We'll get yeah. back to you, say cool. Let the brother Wiseman go first. All right, so I'm looking to all the brothers in the panel. All right, so now, well, real quick, so, okay. so it's a real simple question, okay? A lie is real, right? We can all agree. However, everything in existence is a person, a place, or a thing. My question to anyone, any Muslim on the panel, what is a lie then? You want me to answer? I could do that easy. 
Yeah, I, I'm saying any Muslim on the panel, uh, everything in existence is a person, a place, or a thing. Allah exists, he's real. What is he? Well, I'm not a Muslim, so let a Muslim I think, I think my, my beloved brother, um, all due respect and whatnot, um, I don't agree that Allah is a thing or a person. No, I said a, pers a person, place, or thing. Everything yeah, in existence. Allah yeah. exists, right? Yeah, so I believe, if he no, exists, I'm no, hold on, hold on, because I want to. I, I want you to hear what I'm saying. Okay. Everything in existence is something. Okay. Something, person, place, okay. or thing, is something. Okay. What is a lie? Okay, I don't believe he that. Exists, so what is? Okay, I don't believe that a law is a thing. I don't believe. I th I believe that a law created things. I believe that a law created existence. I don't uh -huh. believe that. I don't believe that a law is. Existence. I believe he created it. Allah cannot be described. Allah cannot be uh, <laughs> defined. So okay. I, I, I don't believe that. It wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's, some, there's, a of things. There's, a, there's, a, there's a few things I had to pull over for this one. There's a few things. Everything exists, right? Everything in existence is something. So person, place, thing, something. So you're saying that a lie is indescribable, but yet you're saying a lie. He has right. to be something. He's the yeah. creator of all, right? See, that's, that's your see. That's no, your no, that's your no, that's on. your understanding. Yeah. That's your understanding of trying to trying to comprehend a law. I can't what? comprehend a law. He is beyond my comprehension. Uh -huh. I cannot. I cannot. So you, so, I cannot. So, so, so like, you, I can't. So what you're saying is that you're following. All right, hold up. Time out. Time out. Everybody, everybody, time out, man. This is terrible, man. This is terrible <laughs> in, in um, 23 where we at right now. Allah man. only exists within your own mind. Allah was created by man. All right? You the one that gives Allah power. Simple as that. It's the same way with the Hebrews. The Hebrews is the one that give you power. Power. It don't exist I, without you. You see, I, who gave it the I, name Allah? Ain't no man. Allah from the heavens came down and said, call me Allah. Man yeah. gave it if that that's name. Okay, and that's so we got to be a little, a little smarter than what we are today. That was all created by man. It only exists because we allowed it into our subconsciousness. It's not real, so, brother. We make so, it real in our life. That's but it's not people. real. That's your Come on, man. Y'all so, so, gotta so, stop with this so, nonsense, that's your, brother. That's your, that's so, your perspective. Have to, we grown have to men today. You. We grown, brother. Now, that's your so, perspective. So, I'd have to agree with you that Allah is, is man. I say Allah is man. He gotta be a man because there's nothing that we... Everything that you learn as a human being, you learn it from another human being. You can't remove the human being unless you remove everything. There's no, there's no God without man. God and man is the same. Now, the expression of God and man is different. So now, if you want to say man in his elevated state is God, then you got something there, right? The supreme being, Allah is described as the supreme being, meaning the highest existence. So if Allah is the highest existence, there's nothing higher in creation than human beings. So you can't, you're saying that, oh, Allah is this, Allah is that, but you're not telling me what he is. You're just giving a name that is said by men. But you're not describing what you are saying. That's what I'm getting at. So, so Sanetta is correct. The concept of God or Allah comes from man. It has to. Other than that, where else did it come from? That's not the question, though, where it came from. The concept <laughs> you said to describe, you said, No, I Allah, asked you what is it? Allah is, what Allah is. And I'm telling you that to me, Allah cannot be defined. Cannot be so then, so, so 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 the most important part of your life, the most important thing in your life as a Muslim, right? You don't even know what it is. Allah is not a thing. Allah no, I never said a thing. thing. I, 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 that's created, not what I said. I believe, hold on, hold on. The most important thing in his life is Muslim. I that's that why the Muslim is Allah, Allah is above his creation. <laughs> he created things. Uh -huh. He created so he, so so he's the creator not is not a part of the creation. He who creates nah, not is a not a part of the creation. He's not a part of it. He created oh, it. He created it. He created it. Okay, but where is he? Where he created? See, these are the questions that I I don't I don't know the answer to, brother. I know, brother. I know, he, brother. I'm trying to tell you how he did it, when he did it, 
and and and, and the means in what you use to do it. I don't know that. Uh -huh. All I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is that. So you don't you, know. So that, that was where you should have went. When you speaking about when you speaking about a law, he's beyond anything that you can imagine. If he's beyond anything then, that I can imagine, then how do I pray to something that I don't know nothing about? Doesn't make sense, brother. No, it's not about not knowing. You know about him, but when you talk about no, how do I know about him? Okay, so tell me something that you don't know nothing about. Listen, listen, we're talking about the makeup of him. That's what you said. The makeup of it. We talk about the makeup. I didn't of say it. it. I you never like, referred to a lot. Is it? What is? What is he? What is he? What is he like? Yeah. It's not yeah, a lot of more like the makeup of it. How are you gonna you could so you could tell me that you can define God? Yes, I just told you that Allah is a man and man is God. See now that's I just gave you a breakdown of my, a, my, brother, Allah, my, 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 my brother. That's that's full of flaws. How you God? Prove but, it. Prove that okay. you God. For instance, for instance, the concept of God was created by human beings. Other than that, how did you learn about God? If that you didn't that, if I you asked you, 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 you know, to I ask you to prove I'm, that you are God. I'm telling you, God is a possessor of power. And I'm, I'm listening. God is a possessor of power and force. Your definition of God is flawed, not mine. Mine, I'm saying man possesses power and force. Man is the originator of power and force. You don't know nothing in the universe higher than man. You don't know nothing higher than man. Beloved, you are in possession of a definition. You are in possession of a definition. All right, all right. Everybody time out. Everybody right. time out, time out, time out, because I got to get to Brother Say Cool first. Not not now, <laughs> but uh, we got okay. Black Jesus Minister Son up in the building. Uh, Black Jesus, first of all, I want to say, how you doing, Black Jesus? <laughs> Black Jesus, what's up? Oh, uh, this is Cobb. I appreciate it. Thank you. Black Jesus, you how you doing? How you doing, Black Jesus? <laughs> huh? Are you serious? Black Jesus moved to Miami. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So we got Black Jesus in the building, but I'll get right back to you, Black Jesus. Right now, let me get to um me. Sister, Sister Freedom in the building. Salamu alaikum, sister. What's happening? Alaikum tonight. I went through all that to get to what I got to say. Virgil, can I just say this to you? Get me off the big screen, son. I don't want to talk to everybody, please. Okay. So, hi, everybody. Um, I want to ask you a question. Are you oh, um, oh. pedophiles? Are you against them? <laughs> are absolutely. you against them? Absolutely. That's why. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, absolutely. I'm against them. That's why I don't agree with that hadith that speaks about the age of Aisha being married to the prophet Muhammad and things okay. of that nature. Yes, I'm against them. That's why I don't believe in that. That's right. what I'm trying to. No, okay, but the fact. Excuse me. It, the fact that it is there, the fact that it is there, the fact, wait a minute, that's not the only hadith that I'm talking about. You know, the one about the little girls being buried when they're born just because they weren't boys. That's uh -oh. not the that, um, Muhammad took baths yeah, with dogs and history. period napkins. Um, he did a whole bunch. He tried to commit suicide. That's supposed to be a big sin. Um, it's been a whole bunch of stuff, but the first one that I said that marrying Aisha at six. Okay, I don't now agree with that, saying that you will never you saying, excuse me, Virgil. You said that you do not accept that you don't get a choice because you just said that what? you believe in you don't get a choice. I'm nah, assuming. nah, nah, nah. So you well, try to control me now. You try to do it. Wait a minute. Calm down, Virgil. <laughs> wait a minute. You don't get a choice. If that is the prophet that you're saying that you're coming under, okay? Because let her talk, talk Virgil. Let her go, brother. Her aunt does not talk. You don't be able to answer it. Let her go. So what I'm saying to you is, you said you believe in the Quran and the Sunnah. That means the Sunnah, the life of the prophet Muhammad. You oh. would only oh. know about it if you were if you were reading the Hadiths. So you can't pick and choose. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to believe that about the problem. You're giving me rules, sister. You sound like the police. You're giving me <laughs> rules on how I talk to the lady. <laughs> you Come on, sister. You can't give me rules out how I talk to the Hey, Virgil, 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 you got to let her go. I agree. I agree with what she was saying, though, brother. I agree. I agree with her. 
It gave Morpheus rules. And everybody and anybody that was in Islam, it gave you rules. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell now, you. Me and GP, this ain't PC. I <laughs> that think that we're Muslim are not Muslim. We think it sounds good because we want to be copied. We want to like follow because we still trying to find our own identity. It took me years too. Coming from where I come from, I never even heard anything uh, um, that I was taught later on. Okay. Until I came into the consciousness. Okay. I wasn't even taught about the prophet Mary and Aisha at six. You know, when I was asked about that, they would say, um, Stuff like, well, Allah allowed him to do it. She was gifted. She was, it was like a, a gift for her to have sex with this 50 something year old man that probably messed her little womb up because she never had any children. Mm. Okay. She remembers being with her doll babies. Okay. Not understanding why she was being taken to this old man that had sex with her at nine. You could not believe whatever you want to. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it looks bad for us as a people to accept, first of all, slaveholders. Muhammad was also a slaveholder. So that, that we're not even going to try to act like he wasn't that either. Okay. What I'm saying, is you, you, I'm sorry. Was somebody about to say something? All right. Hey, hold on, y'all. Because the Hebrews been I, getting I their butt kicked. The Hebrews been talking. getting their butt kicked for like talking. damn near five the years. To the children, so, so y'all gonna have to get this the work, the man. The children are beating, beating like on the bottom <laughs> of their feet. They are beaten and whipped when they don't remember the sorus. And not only they're sexually beaten too. They they the men have sex with them and all kinds of stuff. Absolutely, because I put it on my Facebook page. The things I, that you're in, I'm saying to you, Virgil, the yes, thing sir. that you're in, you need to really study. There's some I, teachers I, I, on I, here that can really show you some stuff. Yes. Okay. I, I sit around. And, I sit, is, and I'm quite sure Seku is. Sister, they, sister, they I, sit around, I sit around and I've heard okay. all the arguments. Damn near majority. So why would you as a man beloved, choose? Beloved, 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 let me, let me sister, let me sister, relax. Sister, Go right ahead. Let me say something. Listen, sister, I heard the arguments. Why do you think that a lot of the arguments that is that is presented, I agree with what is being said. I agree with the brothers and sisters and what they're saying, sister, and certain things that they but they, they say about. I've heard them. I argue them. I argue against Muslims about these 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 positions. But what I'm saying to you is this, sister, is that. You cannot allow yourself to be imprisoned by any religion saying that this is the only way that you can think. You have to believe this. You sound contradictive. You know that, right? You know that you sound contradictive. Absolutely, you do. And this only. You, are able you sound to have the contradictive. Let me, let me say, you, you have the right to pick and choose, my sister. No, you but don't. You know why? Because it's simple fact. You know why? You know why? Because the simple fact religion has taught you to believe that once you embrace it, you have to accept everything that comes along with it, and that's not. I'm gonna say it again. That's I'm gonna say it again because you're playing. You're playing a game. If you hear these things, then you need. No, I'm to not. No, I'm not, sister. Hold you know, up. Sister, 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 I'm living, Virgil. See, you I'm gotta living. let her talk I'm when living. she's talking, Virgil. I don't. I'm you keep I cutting her right, off when she speak. Like, you cut her off. Let her go. I'm gonna I'm say gonna let, you're going to speak right after her. I'm going to say this to you. If there's certain serious things in this religion that make you question things, you need to back out, back out until you really find out if this is what they're really saying about this make-believe. I'm going to say make-believe prophet, too. Let's get that part in there, too. Right, sister, can make I make sure you the nickname I Muhammad? Okay, that, okay. But sister. what I'm saying to Damn. you is if you just got finished saying that you are against pedophilia, and that's one of the main things that they say about this prophet, okay. All and right. hold them and, and, and Virgil. I'm not finished. And because they say this about the prophet, it made every male Muslim over there in the Arab countries feel like it's okay oh, to on, have baby. sex. 
with young girls. It made it made them think it is okay to have sex with young girls. That father hey, sell them off to old men. And you know hey, that sister. is okay. sister, that's that's still going on today. Hey, hey sister, I thought I thought from from my understanding, I may be wrong. Anybody could correct me. But I thought Prophet Muhammad married Aisha, but he didn't uh, have intercourse or nothing like that with her until she became an age. I may be wrong. I'm telling you now, no. it's not true. My, 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 read, my, my beloved read, brother, my sister, can I, can I respond to that, sister? Hadith. Can I respond to that? I, I didn't, I mean, I you know, I ain't no scholar. Okay, well, See, I'm going to be quiet. Why, I'm going to let Morpheus force like it. Like all right, right, all right. Everybody chill out. Uh, Virgil, go ahead. You got the floor, Virgil. Sister, let me say something to you. We have to, we have to, I'm saying the same thing over and over and over again. I think that, I think that when it, when, when it comes down to debate, I think individuals love to highlight things. And I understand the intention. Bubba's trying to help you to understand certain things and different perspectives of things and help you get out of certain things that they may be feel is dangerous to you. And I respect it and I love it. But I understand, sis. I view things with a certain eye. I accept things and I reject things. I don't accept everything. You can't accept everything. This is the life that we live in. This is the world that we live in. You have, I believe that you have a right to pick and choose what you believe in. If you do not have that right, then you could be led astray by any going method or method. You have to have a right to say, yo, that don't make sense. I ain't following that. That right there makes sense. I'm following that. This right here don't make sense. I'm following that. This is how we do in life. We figure this thing out. In life, in that manner, you do not eat everything. Some things you eat, some things you don't eat. But it may be presented to you on a plate. That's how this thing goes. I ask you now what you stand on. If I ask you what you stand on, whatever religion you stand on, if you say you don't stand on a religion, I start asking you, what's your position on certain things? There's certain things that you're going to say that you believe in, I disagree with, and certain things that you're going to say you believe in that I agree with. The things that I agree with, I will accept them. And the things that All I disagree right. with, I'll leave it right, right, there, right there where it's at. That's right. how this is, is. Go ahead. All right, um, let me move on over to Black Jesus. What's up, Black Jesus? Unmute yourself, Black Jesus. Unmute yourself, Black Jesus. You don't know how to unmute yourself? You gotta, you gotta unmute yourself, brother. You don't see it? It's right there to unmute yourself. All right. Hey, Black Jesus, hit the link once I click you out. Hit the link again. Come back in. Hit the link. Okay. Uh, we're going to let Black Jesus come back in. I think he's related to Black Jesus. I don't know. But um, we're going to find out. And let Black Jesus come back in and do his thing, do his um, comedy skit. Um, so for right now, let me go to Brother Sekou. Sekou wanted to um, add on and, um, you know, rebut yes. Morpheus. Yeah, I want to say something quickly about Hadith, then I will ask a question about the meaning of Allah. Uh, on the issue of Hadith, we are very clear, you know, in Quran chapter 55, Surah Al-Rahman, is the Rahman Allah al Quran? It is Allah who will reveal the Quran. So the Quran has presented itself as a separate scripture. But anybody who has read the Quran know that there is no complete story in the Quran. There is no the story of Muhammad is not there. You don't find a complete story of him. You don't find a complete story of any prophet. It's just piece by piece, and sometimes it refers you even to the older books, perhaps the Bible and other to get the complete story because it's a remember. Most of the time the Quran starts with remember we told you this. 
So there is no complete story in the Quran. So for Muslims to understand their religion, they need hadith. Hadith actually play the role like the gospel play with the, for the Christian, how it give them the complete story of Jesus. So it is true that hadith Muslims know most of the things they know about their religion. The Quran, even the five daily prayers are not mentioned, you know, by their time in the raka and how many times, it's nothing of like that in the Quran. So the hadith, Muslims are running away from hadith because it contains a lot of contradiction. And they cannot reconcile the contradiction, then they are running away from it. I, I, I agree with my brother. He said there are different categories of hadith. However, what he didn't tell you is that that applies to the Sunni, not other denominations. Because there are hadith that are weak with the Sunni, they are considered authentic to the Shia. I'll give you an example. Muhammad said, I leave two things behind me, the Quran and my examine Sunnah. If you follow them, you will not go astray. When you go to the Shia, the same hadith, it say, I leave behind me two things, the Quran and my family. So now what did Muhammad say exactly? Who is lying? So that depends on what school of thought you are following and what hadith. It is the scholar that decides because the method they follow to compile the hadith, there is no evidence. It's just based on hearsay. Some of those people never even saw Muhammad with their eyes. So I will leave that alone. Now I will go to you, brother. Oh, hold on, Shaq. Uh, I know. No, no, no. I have to finish. Because no, I will no, let me ask. I will finish. You can write it down like I did. Write it down. No, I was just going to so, say, I agree. I was just telling you, I agree with what you just said. <laughs> That's okay. what I was saying. <laughs> now, I want to go to the meaning of Allah because it's very important because Muslims tend to present Allah to be some kind of God who is different from all these other gods because he is all almighty of the... First of all, we all agree the name Allah predates Islam because the Prophet's father was Abdullah and he was never a Muslim. So this name, Allah, it predates Islam. Now, I'm asking you now, what is Allah a name? Is it a proper noun, like the name Moses, Joseph, or it's a statement? Because if you speak Arabic, if you say Allah, it means the deity. It doesn't mean anything else, the deity. Because the Kalima to Shahada says, La ilaha illallah, that is, there is no Allah but Allah. So you got to explain to what Allah is. So Allah is just a deity. The al there is an article. It's like T-H-E in English, the house, al-bayt, al-kurat, the football. So the al, it just means the. So Allah just means deity. So Allah means the deity. It could be a stone. It could be anything. So Allah just means the deity. Can any of you can contradict me that we will use the Arabic grammar? Okay, I'm going to do it for you right now. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, cool. What is the Arabic word you say for deity? Allah. So then who is Allah? Allah is just the addition of Al, which means they. No, no, not according to Arabia Fusa. Arabia Fusa, grammatical. Wrong, My wrong. brother, when you, add, Al, when you add Al, wait, when you add, wait, wait, let me finish. When you add Al, when you add Al to a word, that means you are trying to no. Say wait. cool, say cool. You got to let him finish first, say cool. I, I, okay. didn't, oh, I didn't cut you off. I didn't cut you off. Okay. Oh. Go ahead. Yellow yeah. So in Arabic, Tahu, Tahu, you can cut in whenever you're ready, brother. In Arabic, you're right. The al, the, 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 the al is a definical article, which means the, right? Good. Good. So then you have al lah, al lah, like you said, the God or the deity. So the question is, if it, if al lah means the deity, the question is who is the deity? God, it means it deity. Could be any deity, deity means God. De deity means God. So, so deity what, means God. So what's this then? So yeah, then, but it, it, it's not necessarily God with a capital G because what I'm saying, deity means whether God. Whether it's a capital well, it G or any not, deity. it's I, not a I name. Can I yeah, no, no, I, I, one time, one time, one time, one time, 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 time,
So, so Ilaha is deity, right? Yes, it's okay. the same word. Oh, but when watch this now. So Ilaha mm -hmm. is the is the yes. word deity or God. Some people translate, correct? Y yes. Okay, so La Ilaha Ilah mm -hmm. is what? But the deity. Uh, no, no, Ilaha and Allah are two different words, brother. They're two different words. But I just told you, Ilaha means deity. So then, who? What is that's Allah? That's what I'm asking you. That's deity. That deity. Listen, is Allah right the name of the God, or is it a name, or, or excuse me, or is it a word that means God? I just told you, it's not a name. It just means the deity. No, brother, Ilaha means deity. You just said that. Ilaha, la Ilaha, Ilaha is the deity. So I'm asking. What brother saying is, is, is the deity Allah. That's what they're no. saying. The deity Allah. No, God. no. God. Listen, 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 to the listen to the question. Listen to the question. When listen, the question. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen, brother. Listen. So if Ilaha is the deity, right? So if you say la Ilaha, there is no deity. Ila, but. Allah, Allah, I'm asking you, who is Allah? That's okay. Listen now. You want me to explain? Okay. This is it, this is like this this is like uh what I cannot think, for example, like with the, in Egypt to say, okay, all the deity in Egypt, all of them now have to be attend, but it's the same. So this person who is speaking on behalf of Islam is saying that there is no deity trying to negate all the little, little ones. He said, but this deity. But what I'm trying to tell you is not a magical name. It's a name that just means a deity that could have you know, been any you know, deity. Cool. You're messing it up. You're messing it up, bro. Listen, listen. <laughs> listen. You're messing it up big time. Listen. Brother Sa, I'm going to raise up, y'all. All right, hold up. Listen. Hold up. Hold up real quick. I want you to get a little fun in here, and you're going to close out. Virgil, I want you to translate. Kuhu Allahu Ahad Allahu Samad Lam Yulib Walam Yulib Walam Yakula Hu Kufu Allahad. So now, so now, let me. Ribbiness, Malikiness, Minsur Waswa Silkiness. I want you to translate, Virgil. I want you to get in this. I want you to get in this, brother. All right, all right. Am I? Am I? Am I? Outro. Am I? Outro. It says. Say he is Allah's one, the one and only, the external absolute. He begetteth not, nor is he begotten. And there is none like in him. Listen, let me say something to you. I appreciate, I appreciate the time with y'all brothers and whatnot. My brother, uh, my brother Tahuti, my beloved brother Tahuti, you gotta find some. You gotta find another resource to get us together. I don't think that undermining or trying to undermine the beliefs of us will do it. I believe that us coming together and deciding on a proper mode of action to take for the growth and development of our people, that will do it to help our people. So, you know, it's good speaking with you, beloved, and I hope that whatever you are standing upon continue to help you, man. Outside right, of that, don't go listen, nowhere man. until he closes out. Time. Time. Just, uh, we got no, we got Tahuli, no, you got to close out too. Go ahead before you leave. Okay, all right, peace, everybody. Um, peace, Virgil. Good conversation. And, um, yeah, the, 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 the title was had a verses in it, so yes, of course, there's going to be a little pushback and debate. And just like you came out and tried to say the gods and commit were homosexual, um, you know, I'm. I'm discussing what my problems were in all religion. You just took offense when it came to Islam. If you remember in the beginning of the conversation, I, mm -hmm. I was going through my journey, discussing what my problems were with different religions that I had encountered. It just became a long conversation about Islam because you are a Muslim, so you started defending it. If you, if you <laughs> did what, yes, if you did what you did when I was talking about Christianity, which was, you said, you didn't really say much, but in Islam, you came out, full-fledged, even sign that I had to drop bombs because you started coming out talking about gods or homos <laughs> and all these. Yeah. So that's how it that's how it turned into this debate situation. Mm -hmm. But thank you, um thank you, my brother, for um the conversation. Good conversation. And um I hope one day you start
studying outside of that. You realize we're still... All right, the you already that. closed out, Virgin. Peace. Talk to you yeah. later, Virgin. <laughs> the, Peace, the, brother. The, the situations I, def I, I presented <laughs> about women, women only having a, half the brain of a man and having a deficient brain and uh, all types of mistakes and chaos that's going on in the Hadith, they were never... I just want everybody to know right. each one Peace was black never... Power, beloved. Peace. Each one Peace was never version. addressed. It was never addressed why a woman's brain is deficient and why she only has half the uh, witness of a man. That was never addressed. It was just completely um, ignored. So that's what religious people do. They ignore things and they pick and um, choose. So that's my closeout for Virgil. All right. So, um, JJ, how much of this you seen? Uh, I haven't seen any of it. I just wanted to say uh, to Hootie. Okay. Hey, so you got to wait for so Hootie is a great so teacher, man. I, I want to give him his props because I don't get to talk to him. You see, he come he come from a, he come from a great debate league, man. You remember to Hootie when you and I came over here and we beat all these guys up? <laughs> oh, no, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it was a good old day, wasn't it, to Hootie? That's right. Hey, I want to I want to deal with you like that again, bro. Because we still got out of plans the Lions then, bro. But uh, say right. cool. I want to apologize to you for the other day, man. Hey, I was in debate uh, debate mode, brother. Hey, no love lost, you know nothing like that, man. But uh, yeah, I miss you. So I'm gonna have to right go back now. and watch. Stay cool, not on here, JJ. Oh, okay. I thought he was on here. Okay. All right, hey, we so got I Black Jesus on here, though. We got little Black Jesus, and we're gonna let Black Jesus get the floor. Black Jesus, you got. Oh the yeah, floor, hey, yeah. He, yeah. This dude right here, powerful man. He did a presentation on the oh. den. That's Black okay. Jesus. Okay. So we got little Black Let's Jesus up in here. Like yeah, Jesus. man, he's powerful. He he trying to reach his young his young people, man. He's 35, all right, all right. 35 the, year age. Let the yeah, go ahead, brother. Speak, brother. Let the sun speak, man. Uh, man, peace and blessings to uh to uh to, to you, brother JJ. Man, respectfully. I want so, to uh, address come on, brother. I want to address um Morpheus when he had made reference to the spirit in that verse 1785 where Allah says, is that the Holy Spirit is known by a divine command. And Allah further says, Wa utim min ilma ila khalil, is that this Holy Spirit will be known by a few. So it wasn't that nobody can understand the spirit of Allah, it's that only a few people can understand this divine intervention. And this is the reason why Allah says in chapter 35, this is the <laughs> Where you get that from, what you just said? Where you get that from? Pardon me? Where did you get that I from? I got this from the same verse that you was reading. Show me the verse, show me the Arabic word that says what you just said. Give me word for word. Okay, so we're coming from the chapter 17, verse number 85. Go. Where Allah says, Stop. Min ilma, Stop. Which is that. Stop. Stop. What does that word mean? To be given something. Say what? What? To be given <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, continue, brother. So you said, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Min ilm ila khalil. Stop, is right that, there. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is that when you are given knowledge of the spirit, no, 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 no. I don't want you. No, no, you're giving me your explanation. I want the, I, I want the, I want it. Ruh, I want to see. Ruhi al Qudus. Because you, your translation, what you just gave me, has something, some Holy Spirit. I want to see the word Ruhu al Qudus. Can you show me that, please? In that, ver in that very that's verse. Now, you just that, heard. now that, now that right there, uh, Mr. Morpheus, that is you trying to get the Quran to say what you want. No, to say. no, no. I want you to listen. Don't listen. But if you are, if you are, if you are, if you are reading the same verse that I'm reading. You said the Holy Spirit. Did you say the Holy Spirit, or did I hear you wrong? You can just understand. Uh, brother, so did you say the Holy Spirit? Have some brother, 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 did you say the Holy Spirit, brother? That's what he asking you. Yes, I'm speaking about the verse with regards to Okay, so all he asking you is to where show is him in the Arabic, Arabic where? where it says the Holy Spirit. Show us. Yeah, where's that at? The whole entire, the whole entire well, verse. So none of those. Why so much aggression? That's what we ask. JJ, JJ, relax, man. Yeah, you already quiet, know JJ. that this I, is the I'm toughest just... league to be in, bro. Yeah, if you okay. got the heart to come in here, you got to know what the hell well, you're talking about. Oh, let me grill Morpheus so like this that is when the he toughest get done. Environment okay. to be in. Yeah, we got, right I, now, JJ, you're not talking. JJ, this come brother on, is talking. So, JJ, JJ, come on. Show us where to say that at. I just, need, I just need Mr. Morpheus to have a little bit more uh, uh, decency 
and how he comes at me because I can definitely show him some great conductive. All right, hold on, brother, because I gotta um I gotta play something for you while you're talking, brother. Because you just got caught out there. Go ahead, continue to talk, brother. You need Morpheus to what? So, no, I did not get caught out there, but I made it so clear. <laughs> Go ahead, and talk, brother. I understand, I understand. This is a this is the this is the Comedy Central Hour. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, uh, you Black Jesus, right? Black Jesus Buddha is here to kids. That's Black back. Jesus Buddha Muhammad. Get it right, sir. Right on, right on, brother. And the reality is that the verse says, "Kuli aruhi min amri," is that this Holy Spirit is comes from the divine command. As the verse says, "Of the Lord." You so, just messed up, bro. Brother, brother, you just messed up again. You messed up, man. If you, if you are, if you are getting uh, uh, irritated by what I'm saying, then I would love for you to to debunk me after I give my taxi on it. Because right, we're all trying to understand and get clarity. Let's so, let him go. Let him go, uh, Morpheus. Let him give his, and then you can come back. Get ahead, brother. The, the verse says, "Kuli ruhi min amri rabbi." Is that? Say, Muhammad, that the Holy Spirit comes from the divine command of the Lord, right? And then the verse continues, which means that this knowledge of the Holy Spirit is only given to a Khalil, a few. So it's not that the Spirit can't be interpreted or be talked about. He said that if a Muslim is talking about the Spirit, it should be a mute thing. It's hey, hey brother, can you do me a favor real quick? When you read... The Quran, when you read the Arabic, can you translate it on what it say? Not what you interpret it to be. I would like for you to translate what you just read in the Arabic. Okay. I did that already, but I'll break it down even slower. Go ahead. Yeah, so Make it slow. Back, you know? Yeah, break it down so, slow. Cool, cool means to say. Ruhi is the spirit. Ruhi is the Holy Spirit. Min means to come from. Right? Amri means to the command. The command, Amir, Amri, Rabbi is my Lord. So to put it all together, say Muhammad, that the Holy Spirit comes from my Lord. Mm-hmm. Right? Then then the, then it further says, Wama Uti Tumin Ilma Ila Khalil, which means Wama and all this knowledge in is Uti Tum is given to a Ila Khalil is only but a few. Only a few people get this knowledge of the Holy Spirit, and it's a command. So that means that the spirit, if you want to understand about the spirit of Allah, the root, is that you have to understand who these people are, this Khalid. And that's why I was referring to this verse, chapter 35, verse number 32, about a chosen people who are who inherit this book. The, there are chosen people who, who, are, or who are authorities over the Quran, and they're the ones who teach the Holy Quran. This is what I have a lot of issues with mainstream Islam, that they're not respecting the, the, the priesthood. There is a priesthood in Islam, and this priesthood is very special. This is the reason why you have in Genesis chapter 17, verse number 20, a prophecy of 12 princes that come out of Ishmael. This is the same idea that the Shiites have. 12 princes will come out of Ishmael. These are the 12 Imams. Only these 12 people will have the ability to truly interpret this Quran, and I stand on that, and this is why I have to make that clear. Okay, I also good. wanted to- All right, all right. Let Morpheus come on. Respond, Morpheus. Okay, ya habibi, ya habibi. Hala takal mukata da Arabia. Hala takal mukata Arabia. Ma ja hala wa kafa bin al kalum. Wa salana yunakul ayunakul yakul ruhi min ami urabi wa ma utu min al yakul. An ma mana hadha. One thing Allah does say in the Quran is that when you recite is that you should recite slowly. So habibi, ma mana hadha. Ya mana hadha. He's asking you in Arabic, brother. He's asked though. And he's speaking Arabic very fast. And in the Quran, it doesn't even say to recite fast. It says to recite slow. Yeah, to so this, so this yeah, is not is hey, is Morpheus, Morpheus, there's no need, man. Come on. I'm asking yeah. the brother. Yeah. I asked the brother, first of all, right? Does he speak Arabic fluently? When I ask him, does he speak Arabic? Because I'm going to show you where he's making mistakes. 
I asked him that question. For me. Hold on, brother, brother, hold on, young brother. You, he went already. You got to let Morpheus go. Go ahead, Morpheus. Can you show? Listen, what is the Arabic word for holy? I'm asking you. What is the Arabic word for holy? Hello. It's all right to so say you, you don't, don't know, know what brother. That Come on, man. Jay, you ever say if you don't know it, then what, Morpheus? You gonna tear right. him down it's a okay, little bit? It's okay to JJ, say you relax, don't know. JJ, JJ, you JJ, gotta relax. Relax, cause you're not speaking for that brother. Let him speak. He a man. Brother First of all, this is one of my guys. This is one of my guys. JJ, see, this, this is, is what I'm talking down. about, bro. On, this JJ, is what I'm on, talking JJ. about. All right, come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, JJ, don't you worry about it, brother. We here, brother. We be right here, brother. JJ, we got this. Don't even worry about it. Bro, the, I'm holy, the word for holy is caduce, my man. Is what? Caduce. Right. So then show me in the verse that you just read, Ruhi al Qudus. That's what I asked you. Show me in the verse because you, you translated that it said the Holy Spirit. So everybody listening. So then we should hear Ruhi al Qudus in the in the in the verse that he read. Show me in the verse that you read al Ruhi al Qudus. That's what I'm asking you. Mamin Ahada, where where is it? Show me it. No, we, we we should not be hearing that because I said that I was referring to the verse you pulled. You pulled this verse. I'm pulling your verse. Hey Sarnetta, did the brother say Holy Spirit? Am I hearing stuff? Hey, yes. No, you not. said it. Yes, brother. You you said did it. Say yes, you it, said brother. it. Come on, man. I mean, did he say the Holy Spirit? Yes, he said yes, that. And he said you were wrong. Right. So I'm, I'm saying you know, I asked you in the verse, bro, that you read. The verse that you read that you said the, the, reality, the reality, the reality is you want to hear the Holy Spirit because I will do something that's to you that make you feel good. Oh, that's what so you said. You said that yourself, brother. You said it was in the Quran. You said it was Adi. Where? He wow. asked you in Arabic, where? Wow. First and foremost, he shouldn't have to go this far because it's evidence that he don't speak Arabic. Calm down, calm down off my guys. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's okay, All I can do is the You have to calm yourself down. You too old for that. You're supposed to be showing better discipline. Peace, everybody. I can't. Please, for a second. Oh, listen, listen, bro. All I'm saying to you is that you read a verse. Now you read the verse, and then when Sarnetta said, "Can you translate the verse?" Right? Then in the translation, now Sarnetta, let me split. Tell me if I'm wrong. Did the brother say in the translation about the Holy Spirit? Did he yes, say he did. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's why he said yeah. you were wrong. That's why I asked him, can you show me in the verse, Aruhi al Kudus, which means the Holy Spirit. I understand your explanation said it, but I'm asking you in the verse, can you show me Aruhi al Kudus? That's all I asked you. Show him, brother. Show him so you can get it over with. Hey, let me let me interject real quick. Um, young brother, what's your name, young brother? The brother with the scarf. His name is Black, Black Jesus. Jesus. Black Jesus. There's, there's two black Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Buddha, Muhammad. It ain't black Jesus, man. Get his name right, bro. This is my guy, bro. Y'all not from the tree. Jesus. So Jesus, I said yeah, his Buddha. name wrong? So the reality, uh, the reality is... Brother, is JJ, reality. come on, man. <laughs> um, hey, bro, uh, young brother, black Jesus. Can you hear me, brother? Black yeah, hold Jesus. on, brother. I'm dealing with the brother Morpheus who made this oh. statement in 1785. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm basically giving the proper interpretation of it. Now, you want to see produce in the, in the, in the scripture? You can't add until what the verse was it, was it. But that's what you did. You the that's what you just did, though. <laughs> that was wow. Wow. Let, me, let, me, let me interject real quick, please. I, let, wow. Let me, because the show's not even about You come, this. young brother, you come from the Lions then? <laughs> you come from the Lions then, brother? Wow. That's a thing. That's oh, a thing. okay. Uh, we got you now, brother. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, brother, young son, we Jesus. got you, bro. <laughs> like, like Jesus, my brother. You got out to the lions, then, God damn it, my man. Yeah, said that. <laughs> Morpheus, Morpheus, Morpheus lied on the verse, and I just came to clear it up. He did not lie, brother. You lied on the verse, brother. You, you lied, man, and you got caught out there, bro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Everybody see it when you go back and listen to this video. You're gonna see that you lied. Yeah, like why would you do that? You don't have to. You ain't got a lot of You ain't got a lot of me, Craig. You ain't got a lot of me, Craig. What you did was you came on, what you did was you pulled up 1785, and then you said that a Muslim should not be even talking about a spirit. 
that we shouldn't even be referring to it as a Muslim. Right, but I'm showing you that the very Muslim. verse that you read, pardon me, pardon me. I'm showing you the very verse that you read did not say what you said. Okay, watch, the, watch this. Watch this. Let's do it. Watch this, y'all. Let's do this brother, one by brother, one. Brother, brother, brother. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, let's do this one by one, Habibi. You ready? Let's do it one by one. What does that mean? What does that mean? So, so Aneta, you you really what you really doing is you shutting oh, up. Oh, let's see. Man let's for see. a field goal. No, listen, this is not I mean, that kind of game. And I mean, you up your man for a field goal. But I mean, this is not that I mean, kind of game. We playing fair, right? Are we yes, playing fair? Yes, we fair? are. Okay, but, so but you can't game. talk while he's talking. That's why I mute you. Because yeah, when you are talking, he's talking. quiet. No. But when he Thank talk, you. you start talking, brother. I was still making a statement, and he cut me off, and you cut me off, so he can talk. That's what you did. I was yes, talking. Yes, that's what I did talking. because Morpheus was talking, brother. Exactly. No, I was talking, brother. Listen, we can. Yeah, you brought. We dealing with the verse seventeen eighty five. How long? How long you been a Muslim, brother? How long you been studying um this Arabic? So, 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 so then that means that he did not get anything. How long you me. been studying, mean, brother? How long you been studying the Arabic? You try to speak all fast with your yeah. Arabic, like you're really on top of something, but you're not really on top of nothing. Oh, That's your fingers are hurt now. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Hey, bro. Oh, he's trying to get his weight up. I got what he's doing. He's trying to take on the top dogs. <laughs> he's trying to take on the heavy hitters, Morpheus. He want to get his weight up. Let's move on. Let's move on. Now, you know, like trying to go off fast like that, but a lot of says to go slow. You're supposed to go slow. Right, right. You ain't supposed to go so fast like that. You need to take some stuff from Black Jesus. I understood him. <laughs> I understood him. What he's doing is him. But we're talking about Quran yes. and the cause of the Quran, <laughs> yes. my man. To but you it. have to speak Arabic. You have to be able to read and speak Arabic for you, you to, to clearly slowly. understand the Quran. the Quran. But you have to read slowly when you're reading the Quran. That's what the law says. Where? 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 You don't know where it says that in the Quran where Allah says to recite slowly? Brother. You don't know that? Brother. You don't know that verse? Brother. Brother. You don't know that verse. Brother. You don't know that verse. Bro, you doing too much, bro. Listen, let's do this. No, no, no. You, you, you're not ready for all the people. That's what a lot of you. That's what a lot of you brothers be doing. You go back up, back up, back up, back up. You do all that little that show. You oh. like you really know Arabic. You don't really know Arabic, my man. You don't even yeah, know this. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hold on. He said, he said that the spirit was not real. So I just broke down that verse word for word, and I just proved that the spirit is real. I will have a conversation with you right now in Arabic. You ready? You want to have a conversation? Have, no, I want to have a conversation on the word of Allah. That's what I want to have a conversation. You, have a conversation. Talk about the said, you said one at a time, one at a time, man, one at a time. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hey, Tom, they ain't gonna let nobody else speak. Tom, it's all about Morpheus. Tom, out, everybody, please, man. Order, we need order, man. Tahuti, yeah. yes, your I'm debate is over. You can you can um close out and roll if you want to. Okay. All right, let Tahuti <laughs> go, man. Let him close out, man. Okay. All right, everybody. And if moderators, if you could, if you could put my um my YouTube in the chat for the people to know. Let them um, know your YouTube. Uh, my YouTube is uh the so type in the Tahuti Pod class. Let me see something. If do I got a one second. Cause just to Hootie, to Hootie Pod. If you type in Tootie Pod Class, it comes up. Um, yeah, just type in the Tootie Pod Class every Friday at six p.m. Pacific time. You Podcast or Pod Class? Class. Pod Class. Okay. Pod class. The Tootie Pod Class um, every Friday, six p.m. Pacific time. 9 p.m. Eastern. It's a my well, moderators. I need y'all right? to put that in the chat real quick. Tahuti Pod Class. It'll yes, pop up. If you can get get that link and put it in the room. Um, thank you again, Sonetta, for having me. Thank you. Good conversation. I'm going to come on. Sonetta, hey, um, I'll do a yeah, I'm going to let you know what Eric Muhammad say. I'm going to talk to him later on. Yeah, and I can do a whole presentation on the origin of, of where how a law was stolen from from uh, Mesopotamia and all that. So, yes, let's get on. Yes, but I'm um, awesome, wonderful. Check me out Fridays, um, um, Tahuti Pod class. It is an open question to answer. You can actually send in questions and I answer them as if I wrote a book for you. Uh, is your joint mystical TV? 
Yeah, that's it. Thank you. All right, that's it. We got the chat. We got the link in there. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe and get your ass up in that class for Tahuti, man. Yes, and shout out to uh, Eric Muhammad if you're out there. Yes, I look forward to um, speaking with you and setting up some with that. Let me know, Saw. So give me a call. Uh, peace and blessings. Peace to the new sister that just came in. I didn't get a chance to hear her speak. What's your name, sis? It's Dulcinea. Okay, peace to Dulcinea. You're the only one I don't think I heard speak. Shout out to the brother Morpheus. <laughs> Morpheus, the Muslim assassinator. Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out yeah. to the uh, young brother, Black Jesus. If you don't know something, just say, you know, just say, I don't know, and let it move on. Shout out to the brother who looks like Ice Cube. What's your name there? The brother in the white. What's your name, brother? Lati. Brother La. Brother La. Brother Lati. Shout out. Peace out, peace out to Lati. And I'll, I'll be. No, no, Brother La. Brother La. Brother. Oh, Brother La. L.A.? Yeah. Brother La. Shout out to Brother La. Nice meeting, everybody. Shout out to JJ. Thank you for your compliment. And I did see your, uh, you did give a donation to my pod class. Shout out to you, JJ. Peace and love, everybody. And I'll be on uh, next time uh, debating Eric Muhammad or doing a presentation on the origin yes. of Allah. Peace and All love, right, everybody. Peace. All peace. right. Before we get back to that, peace let's hear what um, the sister got to say. Sister Dulcinea, you got the floor, Queen. Yes. I definitely am excited for him to come back because I have some questions. But um, so my question for, for anybody to answer on the panel is what, what date are they going back for for islam like what date or what original religion are you um classifying as islam come on muslims answer the yeah question. that was that was that, that 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 question wasn't clear sister you're gonna have to ask that again and please make it clear hold on hold on for one minute i got a quick call i got a quick call and then i'm gonna come right back to you sister he's he this is a peace and black power family what's your name where you calling from Peace Zion Lex. Who? Zion Lex. What's up, Zion Lex? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, man. You never know who's going to be on Sony the TV. So I'm looking, and I'm like, I know that's not my man, Lamine. Uh, shout out to my brother, Lamine. We actually know each other well over 30 years. Um, we go back a long, long time. you always been a solid brother. Uh, good to see him on your platform. This is somebody I know from the streets. He know me. Lamine know me as Smiley's brother. Watch yeah. the smile when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know me as Smiley's younger brother, but he's a real cool dude. Uh, we went to the same high school. Got a lot of love for Lamine. Good to see you on the platform, fam. Uh, likewise, can't wait to, likewise. Uh, likewise. Likewise, man. Can't wait to have a conversation with you too, man. It's really good to see you on the platform. Likewise, brother. Likewise. Oh, hey, 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 I'm going to tell you something right now. That's not a brother to be playing with. He over there calling him or whatever. He know his stuff. He know his I'm stuff. Talking, I'm talking about street shit, all right? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Y'all have a good night. All right, peace, brother Zion. Peace. 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 All right, peace. All right. Dulcinea, I'm sorry. Let me get back to you. No, um, no problem. Go ahead, Dulcinea. So uh, he asked me to repeat the question or rephrase it. So if we're saying Islam is a religion, I'm asking where is the origin of that religion? What peoples do you have? And as far as what is the original date of who Islam are you asking? Practice as a religion, any of the Muslims. Okay. Hey, Black Jesus, you got a lot of noise coming from your um your channel, brother. Yeah. The. Uh... The uh, origin of Islam is Allah. Allah is infinite. Allah doesn't have a beginning or an end. So the, the origin of Islam is Allah. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all disrespect for older cat. Do you have Do you have a, a different date or anything? Or anything yo, I'm out. Yo, I'm out, son. I'm out of here. All right, man. my brother. All right, brother La. No, I didn't please, want. Please. Hey, yo, man. Where you at in Brooklyn, La? Where you at? Where you at in Brooklyn? Now I come through and film you live, brother. But Morpheus, you want to answer that? Well, um, it's for the prophet. The prophet itself. Let's give you a little history. The prophet itself, according to Islamic tradition, was born in the year five seventy A.D. Okay, so between five and I think he died. I think six thirty two A.D. Right. So that was the the time frame 
right, uh, uh, of his lifespan. So you're dealing with uh, 6th century, 5th to 6th century, 570, 6th century. That's the time frame of where you get Islam, which is the Rajab, which is around 14, uh, 14, 4 Hijra, right, in, in that time frame. That's the time frame of the creation of what we know as Islam, says. So what were they practicing in Mecca when he was trying to convert them to Islam? Ah, very good question. Right, the, uh, uh, the, in, within the Arabian Peninsula at that time, they call that in Islam tradition the Jahalid period. But they refer to that as the time of ignorance because they were, pay, uh, uh, you had pagans, you had Christians, you had Jews, you had Sabians. You know, also all these different religious groups existed in the Arabian Peninsula around that time. Yeah, okay. is he with a Muslim? Is he? Say it again. Yeah, finish, brother. Finish. Are yeah. you a Muslim? No. <laughs> so, so how are you an authority? Uh, this, this is reference that anybody can pull up right now and see if I'm not, if I'm making you got this. The authority, you're not representing Islam, brother. Yeah, listen, I don't got this. Listen, listen. listen. And you got the you got the image of a Muslim, but you're not really a listen, authority. Brother, what's a, bro, what is, what's a Muslim, brother? What's a Muslim? Tell, a Muslim tell us. Is what you're yeah, that, that that that's proper, brother. Because I'm I'm. I'll pray Ali, 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 Ali. What I said? Ask, you asked. <laughs> All right, hold what on, hold said? on, hold on, everybody, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody, hold on. everybody, everybody, hold on. I want to see Dulcinea. How did I say? Dulcinea, are you finished? Well, I did want to know what, what they felt like the definition of Muslim was. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Marfis. Finish Muslim. dealing with her right now. Then I'll let you and the brother talk. What's a Muslim, brother? No, no, no. Deal with Dulcinea's question. Okay, I'm sorry, sister. So go ahead. Ed, can you read? So, can you give me your definition of what Muslim is? No, I'm not giving you mine. I'm going to give you the Arabic. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Right, exactly. So, the word Muslim comes from the room of the word Sal Salama. Right, then you have mu, which means one. So salama has the word salama, right, also has the uh, the root word which you hear the S L and the M, which means to surrender. Some people say to submit, but it actually means to surrender. So when you say a Muslim, you're saying one who has surrendered or one who has submitted, which is exactly the uh, uh, uh the definition of a Muslim. You also have another Arabic word that they use, which is like Muslim, um, a mukminin, excuse me. You have a mukmin, mukminin, or mukminati, which is believing or faithful man or a faithful woman, which is mukminati. But a Muslim itself basically just means one who surrendered. Okay, that's exactly what I was kind of trying to get the answer to. I did want to ask Brother Virgil that as far as what his beliefs were and with the argument is far as back and forth between Kemet and Islam. I think it's just difficult as far as us isolating that down to be like, which one is actually Islam? And then, like you said, there were so many practicing religions at the time right. that would automatically take from each other. So it's really hard to isolate who was actually practicing Islam or not. Well, yeah, yeah, because it was, let me tell you, because uh, in that period, even Muhammad's family Right of the Gordish tribe, where he, which he is part of, were all pagan worshippers. Right, they were pagan worshippers. So Muhammad comes from a family of pagan worshippers. This is prior to what does what we know traditionally as Islam. Right, so he he himself comes from that period. You understand what I'm saying? Because Allah in that period, you had. Uh, 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 different gods, uh, uh, Allah, yeah, Al Uza, Al Manat, right? So these were the daughters of Allah that existed, um, um, that the people and and his family worshipped in that day and time. So they worshipped different gods or deities along with Allah. You had Allah, you had Alat, you had Al Uza, Al Manat, right? These are all different deities that you can Google right now and you can pull it up and you can see this stuff. All right, you good, Dulcinea? Yes, peace, All right. guys. Peace, assalamu alaikum. Okay, so my brother, um, Black Jesus, let me ask you a question, and then I'm gonna ask you too, Morpheus. Would y'all two brothers be interested in having a dialogue maybe tomorrow? We could set it up like that. Me and who? 
You and the young brother. I think he's here to look for you to teach him, really. Oh, I mean, it's not a debate, Morpheus, because, you know, come on, man. That's yeah. not a debate. Just a little dialogue where you could probably teach the young brother. Instead yeah, of I, him coming to bow down to you before you, he want to try to challenge you. So he's looking for a little... Yeah, yeah, credit, not, you know. hey, listen, guess what? We could do that, and I'm going to let you know right now. Everything that I'm going to show is going to come from your people, not mine. Mm. Gonna, from your top seers, your scholars, your millet is going to be your stuff. Nothing I say at all is going to come from me. I'm going to use your own shit, your own stuff to show you. How about that? All right, Black Jesus. What do you think? Um, do you want to have a, uh, a build with the brother tomorrow? Yeah, I'll do it. But uh, I want to say that um, you don't know my scholars and you don't know anything I follow. So you, you can't be making no statement like that. And uh, the reality is, if you, if you don't know who I follow, then you don't know uh, how you're going to be able to defeat me. Okay, so, if you have, so if you want to have a, a conversation about my scholars and uh, who I follow, then you don't have to ask the right questions, brother. Do you accept? Hey, hey, Buddha, you bring him over to the line. So he's scared to leave his platform. Right on. Bro, do you accept Ibn Akatia? Ibn Kathir. No, I don't. You no. don't accept uh, Al No, I don't. I don't accept that. You don't accept Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas. Yeah, you don't accept. Do you accept him? Yeah, he's pretty good. How about Etamidi? Etamidi, no. 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 Nah. Are you Shia? Yes, I. I follow. I follow these scholars. Are you Shia? I'm asking. Are you Shia? I follow these scholars. So you Shia. Hello. I'm I'm RG, I'm RGY representative, my man. Hey, um, hold up, hey, Black Jesus, um, put your number in the back chat so I could get your number and then send you the link. You know how to write in the back chat, right? Yeah. Put your number in the back chat so I could get your number, and then what time is good for you, Morpheus? Uh, uh, probably probably afternoon. Early, early as possible. What's good for you, early? Probably at five o'clock. Are you good for that, brother? Um, Black Jesus. Yeah, I can do it. All right, let me get your number so I can be able to um hit you up and then send you the link. Right on. All right, I got you. I see you. Oh. All right, so um, I want you to know, man, Morpheus is not debating you, but if you come there humble, you can learn a lot, brother. I, but I, if I, you want to try to challenge him, you're gonna end up. Looking stupid, brother. Don't don't come in looking like that. I know you think you know it, but you you dealing with a master, man. So uh, 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 I disagree, but I, I'll definitely come in <laughs> and I'll, I'll present I'll present my information. I'll present my the dialogue, and then we'll have a conversation. Uh, brother, can you tell me? Can you tell me real quick before we go? Who's Futris? Yeah, I I, I, I subscribe and I adhere to uh, the Fudiwa, which is the um the scholars of North, North, Northern Nigeria. So, you know so, so so do you do so do you believe in Futris? Pardon me? Do you believe in Futris? I don't know what that is. You a Shia and don't know who Futris is? Mm, I didn't say I was a Shia, I said I follow their scholars. You said that I was a Shia. I said I was RGY. So if you follow their scholars, right? If you claim up, wait. So you set the Shia scholars, but you yourself is not Shia, am I getting that correct? You got it correct. Okay, so, 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 what scholars do you say? I want to um ha have some stuff for you. What scholars are they? See, the reality, the reality is, brother, if you are coming to uh to expose my weaknesses, then you, then you know, uh, according to the Quran, chapter four sixty five, it says that if you have any debate or any dis uh, discrepancies with your brother, that you refer to the Quran. Uh, and so, so as long as you have the Quran as your Sharia, it doesn't matter what scholars I follow. It's the it's the way you present your argument. Is your argument convincing? Is your argument convincing and is it influential that the people will say, "I believe you. I believe that you don't have the power and the capacity to outsway me in my intellectual uh, ability." So the reality is, we're going to see tomorrow uh, on the Sidenator platform, or you know, and uh, you know, and, and this and this and this is going to be uh, proven. You know, your knowledge will speak. Okay, okay, this sounds great, brother. Uh, I, I, look, I look forward to having a conversation with you. I'm not, uh, I'm not here to, uh, to debate you, but we can have a court, a court, a court, a court, a court, a court, a court a conversation. 
Right on. Okay, that sounds good. That's what we 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 have. <laughs> uh, somebody mic is open. I don't know who it is. Okay, but uh, we'll have a con a conversation on the Quran tomorrow. Okay, is that cool? Yes, sir. Okay. Right on. I look forward to that. I look forward to that. Okay. Right on, brother. Hey, Black Jesus, let me ask you a question. Do you speak Arabic? I can, I can, I can, I can speak it. I can recite the Quran. I'm not like I'm not about to have a conversation with nobody in Arabic, okay. but I can definitely recite the Quran. Well, you're speaking with a brother who's fluent. That's what I'm saying, brother. You can learn a lot. It's to, you know, come in humble, brother. Yeah, you know what's weird to me, bro. Uh, 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 and real quick, right? Um, the Quran you read, are you reading uh, um, Wadish or uh, uh, um, Hafs? Uh, brother, I, I don't I don't understand what you mean by that. W Wadish or Hafs? Brother, I read brother, I read the I read the Quran and that's Arabic and I read it, I recite it. No, you no, know, no, no, the, the wardish and hash, all that, you know, that don't really mean nothing, brother. What matters is, what matters is if it, the, the, the reality is that the, the, the Quran is put in a particular uh, format and we just read the Quran according to the way it has been uh, uh, presented to the, to the world, brother. And that's and that's how I read it, man. I, I, that, 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 all, that, all, that, all that all that all that wardish and all that, I don't understand what you're talking about, brother. Okay, if you don't understand, say you don't understand and I help you out. Just relax. No, he don't want to be helped by you, bro, because you, you're not a... You're not a hey, good type of teacher, bro. JJ, You're trying to antagonize a young man. He only 35 years old, bro. Hey, JJ, you see what I'm saying? JJ, please, this is not your category. No, I don't, I'm not. No, I saw not inviting me back for you to oh. shut the hell up. Stop running your mouth, bro. And, Yo, and get in the ring with me. Hold up. Go back to. Go back no, no, to no, jail. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know. You've been a hater for a long time on Kyra, big eye, big eye ass fish. Yeah, you ain't got to do that, brother Morpheus. You ain't got to do that. We gonna see him. We gonna see him tomorrow. Look at this. Yeah, you ain't got to talk that stuff, Morpheus. Where your platform at, bro? Talking to the crowd, man. God damn. That's right. No, hey, son, he's nothing but an antagonist. Stop, man. Get in the ring with me, man. Oh my you don't fucking exist god, god man. Jay, Jay, stop. You can you never just fucking... do shit straight up, man. man. God damn me the brother talking. I mean, so brother, I was telling you. And then yeah, you but you ain't, yeah, but you know. You back, Jay. Yeah, on, but you know man. something, brother? You know, the, the white man, the white man system is intentionally designed to put black men in jail. So to, 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 to oh, come at him oh, with a joke man. like that is, oh. is very insulting to oh. us, man. You don't say nothing like that to no black oh. man when you know the system is designed to keep us oh. down like that, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 a right, shot. That's a shot. To the that's JJ a shot. That's below uh, 30, integrity. He said you're 36. Like that means you're a little baby. You're a grown ass man. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, hey, I tell you what, man. The man, the man has the man loves his debaters. He has he has compassion for his 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 pe the people who represent what he yeah. represents. Yeah. So he's right, he gonna to tell like me this. JJ, 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 relax, hey, brother, because it's too okay, brothers but, okay, talking, Okay, let me just Jay. say this lightly. Let me speak, bro. I've been on here. Oh, let me speak. Let me JJ, you got to wait until No, uh, Okay, finish. no, no, no. Listen to this, Morphe. Don't ever tell me to shut up again in your goddamn life. The hell wrong with you? Where your discipline at, nigga? Now, wow. now, now be quiet. Yeah, cover your guy. All right, good. Come to me, man. but wait. you can interrogate everybody else. This yeah, man. nigga. Listen, listen, JJ. You know if you was in front of me, you didn't even have that energy. So stop. <laughs> it's stop. It. Okay. So it. My brother. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, my brother. What's your name? I smoke. What's your name? Black uh, Jesus Buddha Muhammad. Buddha Muhammad. Okay. So uh, uh, I was giving some information, brother, on on the Quran. What I was talking about is there's seven different Qurats, different recitations. Are you aware of that? No, I wasn't. Right, so look it up when you get a chance right now. It's seven different recitations. The recitation that the majority of the world is using today is called Hafs. H-A-F-S. Look it up. It's the Hafs version, right? You have another version that is used in uh, uh, um, West Africa, which is called Hafs. Down, down, down. Okay. Can you hear me, bro? Bro, can you hear me? I hear you. I hear you, brother. Uh, yeah. So you have the Hofs version, which is which is the majority of version that we have today that's circulated. 
and you have the wash the water version by which is a lot of west african people use there are different recitations but you have seven altogether which is called seven recitations seven gurdots that exist that's why I asked you if you were familiar, because I know you're reciting and you're reading, but if you don't know that there's seven different versions, recitations, you already lost. That's what you say. Because oh, in reality, the, the, no, 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 that's what you say. You know why that, that, that doesn't make any sense, brother? It's because the fact that you got 72 different sects of Islam in the world right now, everybody yeah. thinks they're the best. So the reality is I'm going to be the brother who believes yeah. he's the best because I have the right to believe that. The, the, whenever the NFL uh, yeah. season starts, every everybody says that they're the Super Bowl champion. Just like the Nation of Islam say that they're the ones, uh, the more size simple, they say they're the ones. Everybody believe that their recitation is the best. What I said is that you're going to present your information we're going to articulate it. And if the people love the way that I'm articulating it, they're going to say I'm better than you, brother. You know, and I hope that the people are not uh, so uh, personality worshiping like that. I hope that they truly love knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. They want to understand what this book is all about. And I'm going to bring it, bring out the information according to the way I was, I was taught. And you're going to bring it out according to the way he was taught. Whether I know that there's seven different type of ways that you can recite the Quran, that don't matter, brother. What matters is, is the people getting edified. It's the people learning. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to die in the first round. Probably. Oh, we want to see about that. I, I think, I, you know, you definitely not know. You already said that you're not a Muslim. So, you you know, you already lost credibility. I don't think anybody going to really care about what you got to say because you don't even have no credibility as, as, not, as a non-Muslim teaching Islam. Watch me you know? destroy your Quran. Watch me just to destroy your Quran. Hey well, yo, you know what, Morpheus? We're gonna, we gonna see what we gonna I, see about I, I, that. You gotta give the young, you gotta give the young brother a little, a little. Uh, you know, he think he got what it takes. Let him step in. He he don't understand. He in the big league now, and okay. this is a tough environment. But he's about to find out. Okay. And um, three o'clock tomorrow, you said, Morpheus? Like five o'clock. Five o'clock. Okay, yeah. five o'clock. We got it going down. And oh, let me let everybody know. Um, Friday. We got the senior black Jesus minister. We have the senior black Jesus minister going up against Elder Yara. So that's going to, no, 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 no. My bad, my bad. We have Elder Yara going up against Domo. Going up against Domo. Should religion play a role in black politics? That's the topic. Should religion play a role in black politics? politics. So Elder Yara versus Domo coming up Friday at 8, um, eight o'clock. Peace and Black Power, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Right, peace. Peace.